Recording in progress. Okay, we're recording. And we also have, thanks to uh, Miss Shelley Curtis there, we have closed captioning, live transcript. There's a little CC down in the bottom of, uh, next to a bunch of other options. You can watch that if you want, or you can turn it so you don't have to see it. Steve, how are you? She means. How? She means, yes. Get her and get her Okay, so one thing is take a look at um, if you have the option for what's called original sound. You want to make sure that's off because Zoom has some uh, built in. Um, echo elimination and, and uh, sound processing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it goes straight from your microphone through the computer into it, and it, it does give you kind of a, a, a reverb or a hollow sound. And where is that located, Steve? It should be in the uh, one of the upper corners. Let me look and see what it'd be like on a phone. You're on a computer? Yes. Yeah, OK. It should be in the upper upper left corner. I've got recording and a security button. Okay, then you don't have it turned on, so that's fine. If you have the option to turn it on. Hmm, okay. So I'm getting text messages now, too. It was on uh, chat here. <clears throat> I don't see any chats coming in yet, but. So who do we got? We got. Everybody's got their camera on. Okay, good. Well, so thank Kathy Livingston. Heather, I never seem to catch the uh, Mission N uh, <laughs> meeting. I'm never in Riverside at that time of year. <laughs> well, this is, you know, I had the poll to see who wanted to meet when. And uh, most of them were during the week. And we can't, we usually don't do during the week when we're in Riverside. <laughs> It's such a mess downtown now also. It's like every block is under construction and there's no parking. And it's, right. it's, been a, it's just been a mess lately. That's progress. Oh, hi. It doesn't even look like downtown now. There's so many high rises. <laughs> okay, Janine is logging in. High rises in downtown Riverside. Yeah. Crazy. And just remember when we were in high school, I had to have a job out on university. And the Main Street Mall was dead, absolutely dead. Now, when I'm in town, I stay at either the Hyatt or the Marriott. It's a happening place. I mean, I went at one, two in the morning. <laughs> so you always get a room on the high floor. Hey, Janine. Janine. I've been. I don't see Janine. Her camera's on, but her. Uh, okay. Do you have a. Are you on a uh, iPhone? If you're on a phone, you can only see four people at a time, or maybe, I don't know, but she's number seven right now. Janine, are you on the computer? <laughs> I've been texting her back and forth on my phone. Your mic is off, Janine. Oh, can't hear. I think she's got the phone and the computer. So let me see. Bing, bing. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I hear you. Thank you. Hi, Janine. Hi, Marlon. Hi, Fish. How you doing? <laughs> there you are. Hi. Good to <laughs> see you. This is crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, Janine you know? and I have always kept in contact all these years. So Marlon, can you put a light in front of you? Because all we see is the light behind you and. Let's see. You're backlit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. How's that? Is that good? That's, that's, that's good. OK, good. Better. Yep. I got lights in front, behind, and all around. OK, so Steve, where are you now? Um, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, so still over there. OK. Still. still. <laughs> Boring Santa Fe. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. Very nice every time I've been there. I love Santa Fe. That's beautiful. Beautiful. We've got a 
we've got a really nice house now. So anytime anybody comes through, uh, you're welcome to come and visit. Well, that's very kind of you. I'm trying to remember where I was the last time you were in, in Santa Fe. I'll pick you up on that, Steve. Oh, okay, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have you come. Is your, so is your dad now, is he between, uh, um, where is he now? Is he back near you? Well, or? Um, you're, for some reason, you're cutting in and out. Am I okay? Is my sound you're okay. okay? You're okay. Um, he moved back to New Mexico against doctor's orders and um, against, you know, my, my wishes, but he's living in New Mexico. He's 93. He's happy. He's happy there. He's living in a residential living. Well, that's great. As long as he's happy. So he's not with Val? Um, well, <laughs> Val is here in California, believe it or not. Um, she's visiting friends here. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. She wasn't there for Christmas. So. Are you in Riverside or whereabouts are you? Um, was that addressed to me? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I am in Sacramento. I moved up here to live with my dad a couple years ago from Santa Cruz, California. So um, I'm liking it here. I, I don't miss Santa Cruz except for being out in the water and surfing. But um, I like it here. Yeah, crazy. What I like about Sacramento, there's any type of restaurant you could ever imagine everywhere. Yeah, there's it's it's a real diverse city. Um, lots of stuff to do, but with COVID, everything has kind of been, um, or at least we have been hunkering down, staying home. I think everybody has. That's the problem. <laughs> we, I am in Indiana in a hotel room ah. came to Indiana to spend with my husband's sister and her family. Another sister came from California. Our son came from New York. My son came from Colorado. A niece came from New York. The two of the nieces have COVID. We've all been apart and living in separate places. <laughs> it wow. didn't work. That's awful. No symptoms, just positive tests. And what's your name? Oh, and go look at Dennard. Dennard. Carolyn, yes. Carolyn Dennard. Is that, is that you, Carolyn? Carolyn was a Joby, too. Yeah, hi, Carolyn. <laughs> hi. Hello. <laughs> so I'm in the dark because I don't know how to get any more light in this room. I was going to say, that's, yeah, you get a, get a flashlight, put it under your face. I don't know. But Janet, now you've got, uh, we can see you, we can hear you. <laughs> good to see you. Well, good to see all of you guys. I had to log out and log back in. My system wouldn't let me do the video the first time. Huh. But it's been snowing. Happens. It's been snowing here, and we're in 22 degrees. So Ooh, maybe, awful. maybe no. I love it. I love it. Um, maybe the weather, the snow, or something did something. But and where are you now? You have a white Christmas. We had a white Christmas. We woke up and God, I mean, it is just so pristine and so beautiful when it snows. Where is that? Um, this is Longview, Washington. Oh, okay. Oh my All right. Goodness. Yeah. Keith, you should, did you get some snow there? Yeah, we got plenty of snow uh, on the day after Christmas. We got about six inches and uh, it was saying a little earlier, it got down to about 17 last night. Oh, and we warmed up to about 22 today, I think. <laughs> yeah, we, we got up to 25. I said, yippee! <laughs> Keith, where are you? Uh, Seattle, Washington. Okay. Uh, got some you, snow? Keith, where yeah, are you? We got lots of snow. Good. Yeah, so the freeways, I mean, Seattle shuts down, of course, when the snow is okay, you're up in icy Seattle. and uh, it's, it's bumper cars. So, uh just, Park the car, stay home. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get anywhere near Seattle or Portland or any of the big big towns in in Washington because in Oregon, people go crazy. They just, just they don't know, they just don't know how to drive. drive. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> Somebody drove into the lake that we have. We have a Lake Sacagawea in Longview, and someone oh, drove into it today and had to be rescued. I oh no! God, 
<laughs> yeah, they don't understand that four wheel drive doesn't mean a lot when you're on ice, you know. You no, they don't. The brakes, you're, they you're don't an 8,000 pound missile. <laughs> I think the whole concept of uh, driving on ice or snow, they just don't understand. And unless they have those special tires with the little knobs on them, and they've yeah. kind of gone away from that lately. Yeah, still doesn't work. <laughs> and in California, the um, there's a lot of highways up around Tahoe that are completely shut down because they've had so much snow. Yeah. And the highway patrol uses the stud tires, but they're not, you know, they're not very common in passenger cars, but the that's the only way they're getting around up there. Um, I it's, saw it's really that. been bad. Truckee yeah, and so. uh, Donner Pass. It's yeah, Truckee. If, if you look at Facebook, whoever does a CHP Truckee Facebook page yeah, is Truckee. really funny. Whoever writes for them does a does an amusing job, and they're they're putting videos up but showing like what the why the roads closed because you can hardly see in front of the patrol car. So there's uh, I think 395, a couple highways around Tahoe. They're all you know all shut shut down right now. So um, I'm down in Hemet and Riverside County. It's just starting to rain again. And there'll be snow up in Idlewild in the mountains sometime overnight. And all the crazy people were up, up last weekend thinking there's a lot of snow and uh, they block driveways, they trespass, they double park. So it's kind of a seasonal problem with visitors. So, but we just have rain in Hemet. So in Marlin, where are you living? I'm still in Riverside. Um, I never oh, yes. the Seattle, Yay. I think. I but it's it's awful traffic and uh, people are just not happy and <laughs> it's not the same. Who's who's happy? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. happy. Very few people nowadays are happy. It's well, it depends who you're, you can be happy with your tribe and unhappy with the opposing tribe, I guess, is what I Oh, thinking. well, that's true, too, if we want to get a there, tribal there talk. be people on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we won't go there on this website tonight. <laughs> no, we don't have to. No, we won't. That's a good thing. Uh, it was the first time in my life I turned down an invitation to go to a Christmas Eve party because of the tribes. <laughs> yeah. So I said, well, things are changing. <laughs> wow. Are you doing, Beth? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah, well. I'm just trying to figure out how to change my backdrop picture. Oh. You, oh, had, a, you, you had a beautiful go. tree last year, Beth. You had a beautiful tree last year. Yeah, I have another beautiful tree and I want to put it in there, but I can't get it in there. That's, that, that's, that's a real background there. That's not a fake one, but it's okay. a fake tree. So are you? Well, it looks so do you have a real tree? Do you have a real tree you want to show? In another room. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, well, then you almost, you almost need to take a picture of it with your cell phone and, yeah. and upload it like in the Zoom. There's yeah. a feature called More, at least on mine. And you can... Um, Copy it. Click on more and then uh, go. There's like backgrounds and something or other. And then you upload the photo. Okay. I've been I was just Beth, I was just thinking of you the other day because I um <laughs> I was going through some photos of the I can't hear you. Oh, she's frozen. She dropped <laughs> off. Okay. And she's up in Idlewild, that's why. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, him. Oh, where it's where yes. it's gonna snow more. <laughs> so you're not standing in front of the mission inn. No. Oh no, no, oh, she's me, not. no. Uh -huh. No, I just, I just pulled that as a background. And she's also like that's nice. Down here. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, I'm in Hemet, but I pulled, I think this is from 2019. Um, because the Mission Inn did 
did kind of, you know, they decorated, but they didn't have a big um, event, a big tree lighting yeah. event, and they don't have vendors on Main Street in the mall because of COVID. So it's really a step down, but they still have thousands of lights, apparently. So if we had wanted to have it at the Mission Inn, uh, they're really not letting people in? Yeah, they let people in. You just have to wear a mask. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then if you eat or drink, then you can take it off. Well, I, I, I've got to say that I think the, uh, the date that we had the in-person reunion was probably a, a serendipity that it was between a dip, between uh, Delta coming down and then taking back off up again. Now we got Omicron. So it's like, I haven't heard of anybody who reported themselves with COVID from attending our events, but Norm Burdick and uh, his wife, Vicki Lewis, both tested positive on that Saturday morning and didn't show up, so. Wow. Yeah, it was sad. But other than that, I think everybody, uh, you know, the, the masks optional, but, but show evidence of uh, vaccination or a test uh, worked for most people. Well, I, I know I'm looking forward to seeing the CD of the events, and I know you're working on that, Steve. I know you're you're eager. You're you're very <laughs> very eager, Janet. You want to see all those people. I just want to see those people that were there because I I was planning on going, and and then I couldn't because of um some health issues, and then and then COVID. And we're gonna um, put people who were there and people who weren't there. Right, right. And we'll have pictures of everybody. And I've got some more of the uh, composite, you know, then and now to put back up online. So, oh, those are always we'll get there too. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Oh. Yeah. Um, I uh, took the time to look through the, uh, the the people that passed that little thing you put together. Yeah. That was really nice, and uh, I had a lot of mixed feelings about it. There was a lot of sadness about it, but looking at those beautiful people, their their photographs from. Uh, high school and recognizing some, but a lot of them were just beautiful, fresh faces. And I just wish I'd met and got to know more of them. That was really nice that you did that. Yeah, you, you know. did a really well, good job. I, it, it makes a huge That's difference nice. between between uh, no sound and the music. Yes, the music <laughs> really helped. Um, just really going down memory lane with that music. Yeah, and that was that was mostly Mike Agnew. Who came up with songs? I asked him to find a bunch, and well, he, he did had good. he had the Johnny Cash version version of uh, uh, "In My Life" by the Beatles. Oh, and that yeah. was that was very good. Yeah, where is he tonight? He's usually yeah, I thought on. He'd be on. I don't know. I haven't heard from him, but I'll uh, huh. be be talking to him probably between now and and uh, uh, and New Year's. Oh yeah. Well, tell him he did a really great job with the music. I loved it. And there's Rosanna. Hey. Hello. Hello. Ah, <laughs> hi. Yeah. Well, this good is good. To see I didn't, everybody. Didn't want an RSVP list, but uh, so everyone's surprising me that they're showing up tonight. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent out emails to my buddies reminding them, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, they'll just say whatever. They'll get the email tomorrow, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there's Robert Jaramillo. I remember you. Uh, I remember you, Rosanna. How are you? I'm well. I'm very you? well. A little cold. Jesus, it's I. It is really chilly here in Santa Rosa. In Santa Rosa, that's what you're at. I'm in Sacramento. Ah. Oaks. Yeah. It's nice though. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah, I know. I'm so hey. happy. Yeah. <laughs> and what I just went I just what went out to uh Folsom Lake to look at it and it went from hardly any water to probably three quarters full in the last week. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank God. I am so glad. Scary. But I still have scary. the drought sign in my drive in my uh front yard. You know, the city of Santa Rosa put out, you know, the drought is on and all of that stuff, but so oh, I'm good. still being careful, you know, catching my shower water, flushing the yeah. toilet. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, everybody in California were really good about that. But yeah. Steve, thank you for doing all this hard work all these years. You've been so good in 
keeping us all informed. It's it's getting harder. My my attention span's getting shorter, and so uh, yeah, it's like aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> it's cutting into your fishing time, huh, Steve? Just my goofing off time. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> twiddling twiddling my thumbs. Yeah. Uh huh. Bob, is Ted Noring still alive? He is, but I've lost contact, and I've tried reaching out to him, and I would love to go visit him and hang out and talk about old times because we were we were so tight brothers growing you were, up you were very tight do you know where he lives now in wisconsin somewhere oh my goodness yeah Talk about He's been yeah, he years. is in uh, west bend wisconsin okay it's it's so interesting where people end up i mean yes. that's just what i'm kind of uh blown away by you know where people and decide to go and after high school and whatever you know where are seeds in the wind yep yeah uh, it's a lot of times it's with uh, where their kids are or grandkids are at this point right. definitely yeah. yeah does everybody have grandkids here no no no, <laughs> no kids no. whatsoever no. They have no kids. <laughs> i let everybody else have them yep yeah that, me too <laughs> Yeah. Nieces, though, quite a few. Yeah, I, have I chose to be an uncle rather than a dad. I have two sons. One lives in Colorado. One lives in New York, and neither of them have significant others. So, oh wow, oh. <laughs> that's a distance, New York. Yeah, yeah. Being right. that I live on the coast of California, yes, yes, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's far. New York. That's where my niece lives. He lives in uh, Philadelphia. Close enough. New York City. My niece just graduated from Manhattan School of Music with a degree in musical theater. So she's trying to get jobs on Broadway and all that in oh, New York City. Wow. She's, she, just, she just tested positive for COVID. That's why we're hunkering down in a hotel. Um, this is the second time she's tested positive for COVID and she wow. is fully vaccinated with a booster and everything. Does she feel wow. okay? She has no symptoms either time. Good. None. My my other niece, who is 16, um, tested positive for COVID. They both tested last a week ago Sunday before we arrived here and knew anything about it. So, um, Don't and remember we there are false positives too. Um, these were they got tested twice with a PCR test. Okay. And we know that they are that yeah. Nora had a little bit. She had a, a little cough and a little um, fever for a couple of days, and that was it. But she's also vaccinated, too. So we've just all been hunkering down. Tomorrow, we get to get together. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Janine, I haven't seen you in 10 million years. <laughs> Where are you living? I don't think she can hear you from the looks of it. Janine? Or Oh, I'm here. Denise in Florida, Punta Gorda. Okay. Oh, uh, oh there she is. <laughs> Responds to you, Marla. Ooh. Is Janine on here? Oh, yeah. She. It was it was 80 degrees today down here. Oh, oh, that that is so oh wow. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's rough. California weather. Right here. <laughs> it's raining. Oh, You're so lucky. Yeah. Well, back, to the COVID thing, back to the COVID thing, I every day I go to work, I have to be tested before I can even go in. Oh wow. Oh wow. What do you do, Beth? I'm I'm still in California. But what do you do <laughs> in Cal? Oh, you I go to work. For, I work for Live Nation. Live Nation. Live Nation, the world's largest concert booking company in the world. Oh, really? oh wow. Wow. So you get a lot of free tickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that. She well, gets to see a mom's lot of neat mom's shows, mom's. probably. <laughs> but, you know, and we own Ticketmaster now, so, you know, it's all one and the same. Oh, uh, really? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Janet, are you still working? Me? Uh -huh. No, I retired back in 2008. Oh, okay. And I, I moved to Corvallis, Oregon for seven years, and then I moved to Longview, Washington now. I've been here six years. 
and the, the word work is a, is a four letter word to me. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I have a fun job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what did you do when you worked? Um, I, I started off, I was a mainframe computer operator, one of the first ones back in the 70s. Oh, wow. Um, wow. One of the first ones that Riverside County hired and I worked for them for a while and then I jumped around and for 25 years I did that and then the damn PCs came in and took over and there ended my career. So I ended up going back to school and learned how to be a PC technician. And so I did ah. that for 10 years. And then that was about the time for me ready to retire. When I turned 55, I said, that's it. I'm tired of putting up with all this bullshit. I got to get over with this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember um, my first year at UC Riverside, we put together a um, computerized carpool. And after classes and after studying, we go down into this basement and we fill out these Fortran cards, right? And those, yeah. and those little... And right. this guy kept saying, this is the future. Computers are the future. This is the future. And I'm going, no way am I going to spend the rest of my life filling out dots on computers. <laughs> so I completely missed the boat on that one. I, I have to tell you, I wanted, I, I went to college thinking I was going to get into education, elementary school teaching. And, and it was Christy Moore's dad, the counselor, Mr. Moore, that said, no, Janet, you go into computers. You take one computer class and you'll have a job the rest of your life. And I can honestly say it was true. I, I had 25 years of solid employment and then a little wishy-washy, but 10 years with PCs, just, they just got so damn smart. I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> Did anybody go into plastics? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> got one word, one word for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Linda Wilson. Hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Janet, did you say you live in Longview, Washington? I sure do. I was born in Longview. My brother still lives there. No way. Yep. Oh, that, okay, that is, because Longview's not that big, as you know. No, it's not. But it is, a, it is a nice little community as far as retirement type goes. But your brother still lives there. Well, that that it's a small world. Here we go. It's a small world. <laughs> no, don't get there. <laughs> Where do you live, Linda? I live in Riverside still. Oh wow! Well, I'll be coming down on January second to visit said. my family. <laughs> well, good. A long drive from Santa Rosa. Mm. No, not that long. Well, <laughs> nine hours for me alone. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Hi, Everybody's Diana. Thinking of talking. I'm just Hi. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Diana. Okay. Hey, you. Diana. <laughs> Here's my sheep. <laughs> Here, uh, and those are my um, my three of my nine sloths in the background. <clears throat> Nice. They're my comfort pet. But anyway, the sheep's name is Ba 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 Baran, as in Ba Ba. Okay, oh my sheep, I have seventy of them. Oh seven yeah, oh. sheep farmer. Oh. Oh. Rancher. Anybody wants lamb chops? Call me. Oh my Steve, God. Steve, where, where do you live, Steve? My, I'm in a little town of Grenada, which has three stop signs. What state? California, though I can see where I'm going to go. Oh, really? The town no. is Wairika. Do we not have Canadians? Wairika, yeah, sure, okay. Oh, uh, we're ten miles outside of Wairika. We've got Canadians in Florida. <laughs> so you raise sheep? <laughs> yes. Wow. Got way too many sheep. It's okay. How many? <laughs> Seventy, plus or minus. Yeah. Keith, I've got to tell you, you, you look uh, a little bit like me. a centaur with your backdrop and the horse coming out the side. <laughs> you, you do. You look like you're <laughs> that horse. <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> What's the mythical animal that's half horse, half man? Oh. Centaur? It's centaur. Yeah. Yeah. centaur, yeah. Yeah, it's got the head of a man. And the... There you go. <laughs> the ass of a horse, yes. <laughs> That's funny. Well, how many people are here tonight? 
Well, let's see. I count uh, for 14. 14. Let's Didn't break it over. everybody. Okay. Throws it all that good stuff. Hello. Well, I got an arrow here. Let me check it out. Okay. We got the cameras on. Jana yes. Ryan Thompson's on, but she's down real low. Yeah. Oh. They're, 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 looks like they're working with trying to get something to work. I don't know what the problem is. Mm. Hi, Marlon. Looks, like, looks like Kilroy Hi. was here. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Who said Diana. that? Diana. Diana from Martin's Cleaners. Oh, hi. Hi. Good to see oh, you. Martin's Cleaners. Wasn't that fun? Yep. Peggy Vanderpool and um, yeah, who, who else was there? Yeah. Kathy Potter. Yep. Do you, does everyone know that Kathy Potter died not long ago? No. no. Eve needs to know that. And I don't know anything other than uh, Bob Kruber, who she used to be married to. Um, he messaged me and said that she had passed. Oh, oh dear. Okay. And that was all. Do you, need, well, you think it was like November? Is that when we heard? I had her living in Menifee. Yeah, the last I'd heard, right. she was down at the beach also. Okay. So, uh, hmm. like I said, it's been years since. And I her married name was, let me see here, I forget. Kirby. No, that was her husband's nickname. No, not Kirby anymore. No, no, that was wrong. That didn't work. Yeah. Ely? <laughs> D A L E Y. Right. Yeah. Uh, what was her, who was it again? Kathy, Kathy Potter. Potter. Kathy Potter? Yeah. Uh -huh. Blonde. K A T H. What? Okay, Potter. Yeah. E so this e year? E A L E Y. And do we know her husband? Okay, former husband's name, first name? Um, nope. Okay. No, uh, right now. It would be this year? Yes, uh, October, okay. November. Okay, I'll see what I can find. There's, there's our sleuth. So, uh, yeah. Um, Good. Carolyn, Carolyn uh, I passed the, the uh, what do we call the unsolved ones too? Yeah. <laughs> The ones aren't as easy to crack, but uh, and I've taken a little bit of a sabbatical from doing that the last three months. Mm -hmm. Me too. Because when we hit 100, 152, I mean, for me, it was really uh, um, depressing. Yeah. To uh, put together just the the montage of all the name, all the faces and names on tabloid paper and just taping like five sheets together, right. and uh, and then doing the. Doing the uh, the the slideshow, the video was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's Very it's sad. really sobering, you know, to see those. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. wow. I, I I see those young faces, and I look at all the potential and how mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. life has been lived, and some of them not life lived, like Dave, Dave you know, like Steve Tuttle, and and it, it was just hard to get through. I don't know Hello. how you did it, Steve. Yes, whoever does that talking. Oh, can... yes, finally we got it up. You finally uh, got the sound up. Okay, so yeah. Jana, is, Jana now has a, a speaker. Yes, she will be. Very good. Nice to have your face. Still, there still, you go. Still there back you go. Back. Back. Go. We'll see. So I'll just say one thing that I did differently, I hadn't done before, was actually put their ages on. Because if you just give the oh. year of birth and death, you got to do quick mental calculations and then to put down like when they actually died. It was like, or how old they were. It's like, Okay, um, and what was it? Steve Tuttle was not the youngest. There was somebody younger than him. Don McLeod oh. died really young. Yeah, but it was it was a uh, um, Dave Lamb. Dave Lamb was younger, I think. Oh, oh yeah, I got I, I, I actually got his death certificate as well as the the newspaper reports on him. That was just so sad. On Steve. It was, yeah, uh, Dave uh, David Lamb. Oh, okay. It was an accident. It was a, a freak right. accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he was in a car with his brother and a friend. He was sitting in the passenger seat in front. And in front of them was a telephone, a truck that had a telephone pole on it. And it went around the corner and the pole swung around and just whacked him right through the head. Oh. And some oh people said he's decapitated, but that was not on his death certificate. But he died pretty much instantly. He was whacked in the head exactly. by this telephone pole. And this was in, I think, January or February of 1971. Wow. And Steve Tuttle died in August. Uh, didn't he die in August of 70? Steve, yeah. yeah. He died yeah. while we were still in school. Oh, no, no, right after, after graduation. graduation. Oh, it yeah. was? 
Yeah, it was a it was a gun accident. Hunting season. Well, yeah. life is precious and life is short, and we never know. You know, I mean, that's the thing that I come away with when I watch that is paying attention Steve? to right now, not waiting. So, so pay attention to your emails uh, coming up. I've decided I'm going to add another field to my database, and it's going to be next of kin. Huh. Which means, no, seriously, which means yes. who do I contact if I lose contact with? Oh, they're not, they're not, they're not. that's a good idea. And maybe your spouse, it should be, it should be probably a child you know, or, or uh, a nephew or niece or something like that, that at least, uh, and it'd be an email or a cell phone. That's a very Can good anybody question. hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, Jaramillo. Bob, yes. it's me, Jana. Remember? Hi, Jana. How are you? <laughs> Jana, pull your screen you, down uh, a bit. Jana, really? pull your screen. Pull your screen down a bit. Like, like tilt, the... tilt it down a little bit. Okay. Can't see. There, there you go. That's oh, okay. Go. That's better. I right? always keep it different. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Just, where yeah. are you? Where are you, Jana? Uh, where am I? Yeah. I am in Santa. Uh, <clears throat> Three, four. Question. <laughs> Hold it. Wait, I, what, hun? Uh, Santa Cruz. You're in Santa Cruz? I'm Santa Cruz, yeah. Well, I just moved from there a couple of years oh. ago. Really, Bob? <laughs> yeah, I was there for 30 years. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, oh. I was a chiropractor in Aptos. I had an office in Aptos for 25. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's so weird. So yeah, we lived down by Harbor High School. Oh, really? Okay. All yeah, right. yeah, it's just like you can walk to it, you know. Uh, so, um, God, I'm glad to see you again. It's good to see you. It's good so to see you, Bob. Uh, what do you um? Do, uh, uh, what prompted you to move to Sacramento? Well, um, I made a promise with my dad that when my mom passed, he could live with me, and he decided that Santa Cruz was too cold because of this the summer it fog and all chilly. that. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It is. It gets chilly. And um, so I said, okay, I will come up to Sacramento, which and... is hotter than hell in the summer. Oh God, yes. Oh man. Yeah. We oh, had. We God, had. Yes. We had right off. days 114, 116, oh, 112. Oh, yeah. It was August was miserable, but other than that, I do really like it here. I do. And um, I miss, like I said earlier, surfing, but I do like it up here. We have a lake, and I have canoes, and there's water. So my gills yeah. stay damp. I have uh, I have family in San in uh, Sacramento. Um, well, most of them have died, but I have a few living. Uh, my a couple of my um, grandmother's sisters, and they've been there. They were there for like, well, um, the great walk to here, um, and they. One of them was a. a Oh, I can't think of what I'm saying. Well, what I, Steve, you were there at the party. You yeah. wanted me to tell people what I saw, what you saw. Oh, you gave a uh, you 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 told us your connection back to the Mayflower, the D A R. Yeah, but it, but I was that was only one part of it. I found more stuff. <laughs> oh. oh, that's amazing. I'm um I'm a descendant of uh, John Adams. John Adams, wow. Um, yeah, I never knew this. Uh, this is like we we came, we moved up to to here, and um, we you know had so much to do, we didn't really get a chance to do anything. And then it's all this, and then I got uh, where I got some time off, and um, I know. Does anybody know? Uh, um. um Wait, wait, I got to know. I, uh, uh, James Chilton, uh, uh, Guy Chilton. Yeah, he's married to my girlfriend, Susie. <laughs> I know. Was, I'm, Susie's, try, we were trying to get together. Um, I haven't seen her in years. Well, they love it. They and love the it. thing is that Guy and, um, and Susie, well, Guy, really, um, Guy is a, a, a Mayflower. 
Oh, really? Yeah, you never told you? No. I, that's one of the first things they told us. Uh, I, I live, I um, was at Sears with uh, Susie. Yeah. Uh, she was, I had a, a part, part of the, uh, um, yeah, I have, I was part of the, uh, um, Robot uh, ah. I used to work with Susie at Sears too. Who are you? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Yay. Yeah. Hey, come on. Hey. You know, be serious. You know, we are all that way. Happy alert. Who is Janet? It? Janet Sagan. I used to Thank hang out you. with her. We were in Up With People together. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You work at, at Sears? When you worked, worked at, at Sears. Sears. Yeah, right. You know where that is. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I was a fry cook in Sears for a couple of years. Oh, no. And, oh, Ted, no. Ted Noreen and I were the fry cooks. We ran the oh, place. Oh, that's amazing. Do you remember the little, I, um, uh, so uh, cute. Uh, Japanese lady that was there? In what department? In the, in a, in the, um, in a cafe? Yeah, in the cafe part. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very. Oh, very wasn't nice. she delightful? She I was very, very, very humble, very nice. Oh, sweet. And yeah. Her kids were very yeah. well behaved and all of that. Um, I actually am oh, looking look, for look. Jean, um, Jean Adams. Jean is also. Uh, he's not a Mayflower descendant, but he is a descendant of James Adams, uh, John Adams, who was. I'm just yeah. descended from. Oh, and uh, John and Qu John Quincy. If, if you're descended from John Adams and he's descended from John Adams, you're cousins. Fifth cousins. No, fourth. No, that was quick John, math. This is, is <laughs> please. Um, John had a son, um, and his and his name was John Quincy. Yes. And if you don't like the idea of it, maybe you should try to, you know, get out an ancestry thing and see what you can say. But uh, 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 no, jo Janet, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genealogist. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a genealogist, and people call me all the time to, 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 yep. Yep. to get stuff for them. Yep. So, yep. please. Yep. But but if you're right, both you're if you're both descended from the same ancestor, then you're probably, then you're likely cousins of some sort. I'm not saying how close well, you are. Well, I haven't gotten that far, okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay. Great. Your uh, what is your pup's name? What is your doggy's name? My doggy's name? We have a, a little black and white one. Oh, little. We've got Great Danes. Okay. Let's just great say Great Danes that. aren't little. Yeah, they're not great. Oh, yeah, but they're nice and lovable and cute and everything else. the the big The big one is Morgan, who is, who is named for one of my cousins, and the little one who was a uh, rescue is uh, Howard. <laughs> Which I know. Hey, Steve. Thing. It looks like Fred Herring is trying to sign on, but he's having a problem. He's with, there. He uh, looks, my husband is having a party. He's he's down in. Uh... New Zealand, he's on. Oh my he's God! Slide someplace, and he's yeah. got his mic on. Can you hear us, Fred? Shake your head. I don't think you got to turn your mic. Got to turn your mic on. Muted. Yeah, you're muted. There, you are. there. Mike, come on. Nope. How are you? Good. Yeah. How how come, Mike? You were listed as Mike Havanic One. Are there more of you? <laughs> oh, it's Fred. I use Zoom for other things, and when they're when my wife's on, there's two of us. So. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, her name's Mike too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, you have never gone to the at any other space. <laughs> like Nikki, you and me and Don Wilson and Lois Noise all walk to school together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Sierra. Yeah. Mm. Many moons ago. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Does anybody walk to school anymore? No, <laughs> not very much. Probably not yeah. safe. Do they run or <laughs> clog or something? Well, I, I read somewhere that 40% of the traffic in the morning and the afternoons is moms or parents taking their kids to and from school. Yeah, and that's why they that's why they got legs that atrophy because they don't that's use right. them. <laughs> or or it's grandparents taking their grandchildren to school. 
Yeah. 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 We do that three days a week or so. Oh. It looks like That's Fred's on now. Can you hear yeah. us, Fred? How many are there of you on it? 15. 15. How many of us are alive for the original class? <laughs> only 12 of us are alive right now. <laughs> We're the only ones, Fred. <laughs> the three are walking dead. <laughs> Yeah. Fred, and where, where in New Zealand are you, Fred? Oh, I'm presently, I'm in, you know, New Zealand. Oops. Do you I'm know sorry, New Zealand? Where? You, do well, you know I was New going Zealand? to go to Christ Church uh, at one time, and then they had an earthquake, and so I didn't go. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I, living up north of Christ Church. I was there in Christ Church during the earthquakes and was actually oh. down. In fact, I, I, I was thrown out of my chair about three feet in the air. Wow. Hey, how yes. are your orange groves? Sorry? How are your orange groves doing? Uh, I'll turn uh, the, I, I'll turn around my phone so you can see where I am. Okay. okay. Oh, you're midsummer you there, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's a long Lynches, way. Yeah. Nables. Nice. I have, yeah, That's in, in celebration of Riverside. Yeah. It, in celebration of Riverside, I did try to plant navels, and yeah. um, we've had a strange spring, as you know. There's a lot of climate changes, but um, mm -hmm. we've had an excessive amount of rain, and even today it's been raining. Uh, it is middle of summer, yeah, and mm -hmm. it's feeling tropical, so it's mm -hmm. getting a bit weird. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> we have we have just about every kind of citrus that's on the planet planted here. That's nice. Wow. So. Anyhow, I've got about 150 trees or so. Well, cool. Wow. And those are the, those are the ponds that we created. It used to be a marshland, so we dug that out and put everything. And me, Charlie, would you? Yeah. So that that's all the rest of it. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So what Hello. time of day is it there, Fred? Uh, <laughs> Two forty nine in the afternoon, and it's a day ahead of you. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! So you can tell yeah. our future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. So how did you how did you end up in uh, New Zealand, Fred? So and tell. Yes. So uh, and tell. I think okay. we spoke we spoke together probably. No, I'm good. I'm good. When did you last one, Steve? About two years ago? Was that a year ago? I can't remember. A year ago, I think. Hey Marla. I last year you were on, on I mean. with us, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was. Well, I actually had mentioned at the time that I came here because I'd first read about it. When I was at Ramona, I was kind of, remember a guy named Claire Cessna? He yeah. was a biological assistant. And so I'd be kind of really close with him because he was still single and he was fun and crazy. And um, so we started, we had this biological society and Paul Ehrlich had written the bomb, the uh, population bomb. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we just, just decided to do that cockroach thing, you know, under the window, and we broke up all the countries. Oh, yes. And mm -hmm. what I got out of it was that the best place to live when you're an old man is to go live in Australia or New Zealand. Oh. And so when I first got the opportunity out of university to go somewhere, I came down to got an Australian job, and I was over here climbing Mount Cook within the year. And I love this place. It's great. Yeah. And the, the South Island is probably 80% of which on the planet in the way of scenery is probably right here on this island. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. It's phenomenal, actually. So that's what brought me here. And, to... and the people back then, the people were kind of the way people used to be in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. oh, and I, 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 I do have, I just leave my key addition here. But in general, back then, you didn't even have to lock your house or anything. It's changed, but I mean, I, I, where I live right now, I don't, you know, leave everything. What, what do you do with your oranges? Oh, it's still my fifth year. I mean, I don't forget that I'm, we're getting on. So I got as old as plants as I could find, and they're still on the ground. And But the this year's harvest only lasted for a few weeks. So give it a few more years before I can talk about having so much that we can sell them at the gate or barter them away. Or, mm -hmm. We're adding value, so we're always making Asian dishes and making, you know, um, cheesecakes out of limes and lemons and oranges. Mm -hmm. and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody's come down here. Look me up. Sounds you want to hear a you want to hear a funny story, Fred? I was talking with my friend Jeff Bassett the other day, and he told me how your sister and brother went to visit him. Yeah. Do you remember Jeff? Oh yeah, yeah. no, we were eating together, and uh, um, he plays trombone. Uh huh. Yep. We were in the band together. All that. Yeah. It was weird when he when I was telling him about this video session coming up, and I says, "Yeah," I says, "We actually have a guy from New Zealand, Fred." And he goes, Fred Herring? And I says, yeah. And he said, well, I just, he says his brother and sister just visited me. And he was um, in Maryland. So that's, that's weird. I thought, okay, yeah. here we go again. <laughs> that is great. Small small world. Sister. It is a small world, especially if you're kind of emanate from Riverside. It's a good place to be from. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fred, you, you still have a sister? Two? Yes. Uh, here, yes. Here's a weird one, since you guys were getting on. Do you remember a girl named Sherry Bates? Well, yeah. Yes. 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 Sherry Joe well, she was, When she was in junior high school, she was my eldest sister, Kathy's best friend. Oh. And so she was in and out of her house. And very weirdly, no, 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 no. I had told the story about Sherry Bates to a friend I'd met at Chico State University. And he came back to me about a month and a half ago from Washington, D.C. to provide me another update on whatever happened to Sherry Bates. And as you know, there's been a lot of stuff related to all this over the years since we've been alive. But um, Kathy and Sherry were, were good friends in junior high school. She was always around playing on the piano. But it's just a strange story about where we're all from. Yeah. It's not, you know? I have a so, cousin. Anyhow. I have a cousin who was um, in this in uh, in uh, what am I saying? I don't know. New Zealand. <laughs> um, so maybe it is an age thing. What do you mean we all forget things when we get old? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but my sisters are alive. Lynette was the one you might have known because she was a year older than us. And and where where are your sisters living? They're back in the United States. Are are so, they still in Riverside? No way. No way. No, Lynette, <laughs> Lynn, no Lynette's way. trapped. Lynette's trapped in Stockton, California, and Kathy lives between Moab and Grand Junction. Oh, and, well, there's not much there. And then, of course, Brett's up in up in Fair and Anchorage, Alaska. So we've all lived abroad. Kathy was working in wildlife biology in Namibia or something. That was in Mexico, and Brett was in Indonesia or something. So, so you guys may have noticed that I, uh, when I put down the different time zones for the uh, the meetings yeah. like this, didn't mean to get you out of your chair, I, but I thought I you could get a word at edgewise. Isn't that crazy? Who what? Uh -huh. well, it is. Say something. Speak up. Yeah, those, I love those, your Steve, Steve, when you did do that, obviously you were giving There's me There's one person nut. that does not does not <laughs> be quiet. Isn't that funny? Just funny. But I was, was going to say, I also added Germany uh, this time, uh -oh. as I'd heard it from does, yeah. uh, Florian Zipley's. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. We all remember him. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know about that. That's... Janine. I used to have my easy. Janine, mute. You're yeah. on the phone. Well, I'm calling Marlon so we can talk. Yeah, but we <laughs> hear you. But we hear you. Talking. Yes. But we're hearing you. Yes. Well, I'm hearing everybody else. So get with it, guys. Well, I'll hang oh, you. We'll, 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 <laughs> well, mute. <laughs> so speaking of time zones, Steve, yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, we've all had time to travel. I'm curious where people have been. <laughs> Well, I moved to Arkansas. Oh gosh, I moved. I lived in Minnesota. Barbara, Barbara needs to be unmuted. Barbara, she probably doesn't see. Well, I can ask her to unmute. That's okay. Can you? Yeah. No. And I can also can mute you miss anybody. messenger to unmute. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> yeah, you do it. Well, I remember you. 
I, how could you have forgotten me? <laughs> um, I remember you very well. You got, I remember you being at Sears and everything. Oh, Janet. Oh, are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, we, I didn't know who you were talking to. Yeah. No, I, I, no, no, no. You don't look like you did that back then. And, oh, well, and, good uh, God, none of us did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, they weren't talking to me. the hair when I oh, started now they can hear Social me. Security. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh, I thought oh, I, okay. I wouldn't have recognized you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, we have all changed. <laughs> for the better. Some for the better, some for the worse. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, Barbara yeah. Morris is unmuted now, so she can. Yay. Okay. Oh. Hi, Barbara. Yeah. Well, we so we've got the five grandkids running around, so if they get loud, I guess I'll hit mute. Yep. Yeah. Is that how it works? My daughter helps set this up. Yep. Or oh, right now they're quiet. they're quiet, so. <laughs> Unless you can find the button to mute them. Oh, <laughs> sometimes that would be nice. The pattern, That's yeah. called duct tape. And then I miss their voices at, at times. So. Yeah, they were, gone, they were gone over Christmas. So it was a little more quieter here. Just, just very quickly, Steve, would, have you ever had communication with Vivian Schuler over in Norway? I, I haven't. I talked to her sister, Sylvia. And uh, the, uh, Vivian has no, um, she's not online, doesn't have internet. Uh, last time I know she was in California, um, Kathy Nash and Martha Renke, and I forget who else, uh, she was there for some, some purpose. That's probably about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have periodic communication with Kathy, but very rarely. Um, and then I think Vivian's brother, what's his name? With like a very German name. I forget. Reinhardt or something like that. Reinhardt? Could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Reinhardt Schuler, yeah. Yeah. Interesting family. You know. Extremely intelligent. Wow. I thought she was yeah. such a woman in high school. She and Martha Ranke were just so beautiful and seemed to be oh, yeah. so, you know, mature compared to me. <laughs> Oh, they were lovely. And I speak. I remember that about her. <laughs> yeah. How did she end up in Norway, Fred? You know, I don't know. I, I, I used to see her at RCC, and we were friends. Um, but then, as you know, I went down to Australia, I lost track of her. Not only, I think it was actually, it was, there was a teacher we all had together when I was in elementary school. And he well, I was at Jefferson. And a guy named George Livingston was her um, well, um, sixth grade teacher. And he kept track of a lot of people for me. So he knew about her because she saw him. For, and he's dead today, George. But he told me. Hmm. And yeah, she's, Maryland, actually, she's in Sweden. Is it Sweden? Yeah. Molendal. Okay. I never did get up there. I've got a, I've got a mailing address, but it's like... Uh, I don't know how much it costs now to mail a letter to to, to uh, International Post, but we're going to see. It's probably right. cheaper. It's probably cheaper than sending something to Riverside <laughs> and faster. Yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. I sent a, a joke gift to Bill Thompson, who lives in Tennessee, and when he got it, he said, "What the hell were you thinking, spending that much on on postage?" And I said, "If I would have known it was going to cost." <laughs> that I wouldn't accept it. <laughs> it's crazy right now on postage costs. Yeah. It's $16.50 for a small box to send. My fr friend sent me another sloth. And uh, I th thought that was more than the gift, I'm sure. Well, it's high. Yeah. I, I didn't want to admit to him that I spent more on postage than <laughs> <to> that gift. <laughs> You're penalized if you don't stay current. It's <laughs> true. Sure. We're, we're subsidizing uh, Amazon's free shipping, prime shipping. Man, I don't know. It's crazy. I'm saying it, it really uh, makes sense to order something and have it shipped for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't know how much, you know, you're actually getting uh -huh. charged what your surcharge is on your gift. But if it goes for free, you feel like you're saving money. I think you are. Is, is, Somebody is Michael, pays somewhere. Is Michael Vanek still on? Yeah. Yeah. He's waving to you. 
<laughs> oh, I can't see. I'm sorry. It's so, it's so light here. <laughs> Can I ask a the question? Mike, Mike, well, let, Mike, let Mike talk to Fred for a second. Okay. I'll be good. <laughs> hey, Fred. I, was Mike, that I, I had thought about you all these years. We just don't, we just don't stay in touch. So it's fine. But, uh, if, again, if any of you are ever down here, feel free to look me up. Um, you know, well, well, I'm still able to think properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, you're you're a doctor, aren't you? Chemistry. Chemistry. Okay. Wow. What Chemistry field is in chemist? Chemist, Mike. Yeah, analytical chemistry. Yeah. Wow. So, hey, what, what does that mean? What did you do? Yeah. Um, mostly in the pharmaceutical industry analyze the either raw materials in process or final product using you know different in machines that look for the purity or impurities in the final drug product yeah that sounds heavy duty and important if i didn't yeah. know that junior high would have copied off you <laughs> oh linda mike where did you go to school UC Riverside, huh? and then, I, went, wow, and then I did my graduate work out there in Hawaii. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I, was at, hey, I was at UC awesome. Riverside. That was a good school then. It was only 7,000 people. Yeah. Yeah, it was small. It's big now. Yeah, now they built the med school and engineering oh, yeah. school. Yeah. It's gone crazy. So. My uh, niece went to it. And my cousin is going to. Uh, what, what does view mean? Does view let me see everybody? And up here. You know, um, I transferred from Riverside to UC Berkeley, and I thought my education at UC Riverside was way better because there was only 35 people in a class, uh -huh. in a lecture hall, and you could talk to the professor and go to his house for barbecues. Wow. And, and Berkeley, you're totally anonymous, man. There's like 350 yeah. people in a, in a lecture yeah. hall. Mm. Yeah, I thought well, it was funny. Doing there doctorate was... work. You're not huh? going to see a real professor. Go. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Make sure you got in the right place. I had one professor who took us to um, oh, there's like Timothy a, Leary's house. You can see at certain times. Ooh. So <laughs> does that view work? Uh, is Beth there? I'm here. Hi, Beth? Beth? Everybody's just talking. Is that <laughs> Jane? <laughs> Hi, Beth. Beth. Good you to see you. Tell me when you came. Turn your phone sideways. I know. Yeah. Oh, my what? gosh. Turn, Turn your phone. phone. Neighbors. <laughs> Turn my what sideways? Your, not your head, your no, phone. You're on your you side, Beth. Your <laughs> Everybody do this for Beth. Oh, okay. oh, now she dropped it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I had to get on the iPad because it was dead, so I'm on the ah. iPad. So, anyway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, How are you? What? How are you? I'm yeah. good. I'm just being quiet, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the holidays, okay, and um, I, I missed my mom. Mm. Sorry, Beth. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. And my, my mom's coming up uh 60 no oh, not yeah, 60 90, 90. and oh, yeah. we don't and the kids and all of the kids well you don't know all of the kids but you, you know the large even the the ones are just little we're, yeah. we're grieving right now you know and she's but she's happy and keeping it up as much as she can yeah so. that's good yeah. Yeah. well my mom succumbed to covid so oh man yeah yeah, they put her in a rehab, which was supposedly COVID free, but it didn't happen. So, anyway, it all happened so fast. And we're just yeah. really blindsided by it. Beth, I, I'm sorry about your loss. We too. lost my, yeah. step, my father in law. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's tough. Yeah, you can't say goodbye. Yeah, I know. I know. Anyway, but I but I but I still managed to get through the holiday. I made it fun. I had everybody over here, my whole family. I'm the oldest of six kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm seven. Huge family. Yeah, you we know. Had a, 
we had something terrible happen uh, about a month ago. Oh. One of my cousins in San Diego. I'm the oldest of all the co all the cousins. But one the one of um, was it on the back of his truck and was not just re doing anything. It, you know, casually taking care of whatever what it was he was doing, and mm -hmm. a big, uh, huge truck came in and um, crushed his legs, ripped the legs off, oh. and yeah, yeah, and. Um, <sighs> Yeah, his mother's having a hard time. Yeah, yeah. Mom, moms do. Yeah, and and I cried a lot, and I'm still crying a lot. Um, yeah, he was uh, my youngest um, uncle's uh, kid, and but he was a nice kid, and he would send me notes all the time and everything, and it, it's just really so so uprising to see your family come together. Um, but we we're really taking it hard. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But we missed our moms. Yeah. 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 No. Oh my God. Yeah. Sorry about that, Jenna. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. It happens, but you know, you you always think it's not going to happen to you. Yeah. When yeah. Was again, Beth? Beth? First, so. When was it again, Beth? When yes. Did she when did yeah. she die? My mom. What? Yeah. Well, she was the matriarch of the family. My okay. dad had passed, yeah. my dad had passed um, like in 2003. And so she became a very special, precious last, you know, the last of our parents. And, mm -hmm. and this happened. We were, we were just not ready for it. Yeah. Well, was it before or after the reunion? I'm trying to remember when, because I, I read about it on Facebook. When did yeah. she pass? It was, yeah, it was right in. And so I didn't go. Yeah. And um, anyway, but I, but like I said, we, we got through the first Christmas without it. But it was tough. Well, like I tell people, no matter how old you are, when you lose your parents, you still feel like an orphan. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Diane, is your dad still alive? No. Oh. Oh, he did. no. Who'd you Diana. say? Diana? I I didn't I've lost both my parents, and I think my mom impacted me more. She was like the matriarch, that, that glue that holds the family together. And as a matter of fact, that we used to put our Christmas tree up on December 11th. That was her birthday. And that just took away my Christmas spirit and joy for at least 10 years. So, but it, it just changes how you think about your parents when you don't have them. And it, yeah. and it makes you realize how precious life is. Yep. And it makes your family more precious as well. So, you know, you just kind of, oh, you get through it. Well, right, Linda? My mother died in 1968. Oh, well, God. Well, we were in high school. And it's I still miss her every single day. Yeah, right. Wow. 50, 50 something years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Diana, is your husband doing well? Yeah, he, he's from the class of 67, y'all. We're in Arkansas now, and I have a happy husband. I mean, this man is happy because he hated Riverside. So, um, and so- What city? What city are you um, Rogers, which is north, northwest Arkansas near, you know, Walmart home office, but that doesn't affect me unless I get caught in their traffic. But um, we have my mom had my mom had family here in the 1800s. Um, so it's the Hudspeth family and the Gage family. But anyway, the Hudspeth family they came here in the 1800s. I had my great grandmother's butter churn. I brought it home to Arkansas with me when we moved here. And I Elaine Hudspeth and I she went to school. With yes, Elaine. She finished in North High School, but she was, you know, part of our class through 10th grade. So we're, I say fifth cousins, we could be fourth cousins, but we've traced our ancestry back to our great, great, great grandfather. It is so interesting. So is I love that, genealogy. Wow, yeah. I love and, doing that. Yeah, and my great, great grandfather had a lumber mill. We've been to the creek where it was, and he also had, um, uh, what do you call that? Moonshine still. <laughs> <laughs> and I have so a yeah, moonshine. My family's moonshine. like that. And I have a copy of the arrest warrant signed by President Grant to arrest him 
and my great grandpa, great great grandfather, and my great uncle. And I met a cousin here in Arkansas who, uh, so I've got two cousins that I found with the husband's name. It is just awesome. Well, the moonshine thing uh, explains a lot about you, Diane. It doesn't it? It does, yeah. 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 Hey, um, Diane, do you still, are yes. you still in contact with Elaine? You know, I am not good about staying in contact, but did you see her um, in the thing she copied? Okay, she wrote that she's interested in politics and religion. That's her hobby. And she wrote that in the thing that Steve put together from our class. And she, indeed, she indeed has great interest in that. But mm -hmm. I, she lives in Sun City now. So I should visit her. Um, I come every March, okay, to California. And I should visit her because I've been neglectful. But she's um, single and um, healthy. And um, yeah, did you know her from, I mean, what did you I, I, I knew her. Um, I knew her. And um, at the last reunion I went to, which I think was the 20th, for some reason, she and I started talking, and it was such a pleasant visit with her. And nice. we talked for about three hours, a long time. Wow. She there was, was all these other people that were important to me, but I just enjoyed spending so much time with her. It was, you know what? It was nice. She would probably love to hear from you by email or because you're probably not going to be down in Southern California, but I think that would mean a lot to her. So, because hmm. wow. I think her email is in the little album that Steve put together. She'd probably Bob, be thrilled. Bob, both you and Elaine were at the 40 year reunion. You were hanging 40. out with Sherry, but she was at the 40 year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I went with Sherry, but Elaine and I spent a, a bunch of time talking. Yeah. It was sweet. It was a sweet, sweet Well, you know what? I would encourage you to contact her then, you know, just to email if you want. She's a great writer. Okay. I'll send you her email. Book. Okay, thank yeah. you. I will. I will. Okay. I will. Good. Hmm. So that's my story. Well, usually we've well, asked, we've kind of like gone around and, and done everything like that. Uh, yeah. A num number of people are starting to check out, like Carolyn's saying goodbye. Oh, bye. Hi, Carolyn. Bye. Bye. Which, bye. which bye. Carolyn? Bye. Too late. She's gone. Oh, <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn Denner Galoka. Yeah. Just left. The other genie oh. items. That okay. to Robert. Okay. Robert, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna try it. Robert, I'm gonna give uh, uh, Pat a call. I think this week he's turning seventy. Hanlon tomorrow or uh, day after tomorrow. It's yeah. Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Pat Hanlon. So who yeah. who was already who turned was seventy? That? Raise your hand. Was not me. No. Nobody. Close. <laughs> Next well, month. Babies. What was the question? <laughs> who has already turned seventy? Seventy. Oh. My husband. I have turned 70. Your husband. <laughs> Belly, you have? I'm 70, yeah. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Oh, no, I'm 69. What? What am I okay, doing? we all are. <laughs> My husband turned 70. We'll be 70 all next year. Maybe I'm thinking yeah. about him. I just, there, there have been quite a few that have hit that milestone. I'm just, yeah. I, I've been tempted to sort the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, database by, not just by birthday, but by actual birth to see, you know, like who's the oldest surviving mm -hmm. right now. And who well, is? do you have time to do all that stuff? No, by, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's sort on <laughs> birth. That's pretty straightforward, but um, who, Linda Brady. Linda Brady is 70. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She's so yeah. cute. She still looks like young. <laughs> yeah. So does Beth. Beth looks young. Yeah, There's that's two oh, yeah. of them. Beth's in a pickle jar. That's how she's. <laughs> I always say that about Vicki Veronica because I've known her. Oh, since she's so grade. cute. She is uh, cute. Yeah. Honest yeah. To God, she has not changed. I've seen her through yeah. her marriages, her children, her this or that. And I, mm -hmm. doesn't she ever age? And she uh, doesn't. That's she's nice. In Washington now. Yeah, she lives up uh, oh, 130 miles from me. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, all the Veronis left Riverside. Yeah. They're yeah. all scattered now. <laughs> Their sons are running the Antone's Yeah, yeah. Never are they? Yeah. yeah, Vicky's nephew's running it now. Yeah. yeah. So it's still in the family, which is good. And yeah. it still tastes good. I was just there the other day. Oh, God, I miss their mafia sandwiches. And oh, their garlic bread. 
Oh, what's, your, what's her name again? Vicky. Who was her name? Vicky what? Vicky Verani. Vicky Verani. And yeah. she just she had that really friendly, animated always, Italian yeah. Yep. Right. And, and talk. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I used to go and get those hamburg those burgers there. I remember that. No, grinders. Burgers. Grinders. She sold That's Italian amazing. grinders. It was on Brockton and Oh, yeah. And her mom and dad started that business, I remember, when we were in the fourth grade. And uh, they ran it for, well, over 50 years now. It's, it's older, that business. Yeah. In the same building. Oh. Same building. Yeah, same building. Same thing. Yeah. Even though a car drove through the window and everything. Well, I, was yeah. there. I remember that. Well, yeah, I was there that day. Vicky. Really? Yeah, that post wow. from the windows now, so you, you're not going to drive through. I kidded them about starting a drive-through service, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I, I've talked to a lot of classmates lately. I do at Christmas time always, and I talked with Donna Hibbard, if any of you remember her. Yeah. Her, her brother, Mike Hibbard, graduated in 69, along with her sister. They were twins. Her sister has passed away. But Donna's um, taking care of her dad, who's 99 years old. Oh, my God. Yes. And um, he's still going strong. He still lives by yes. himself. Wow. I'm amazed. Wow. Just amazed. And then I talked with Connie Nielsen the other day, and, and she's doing well. I don't know if any of you remember Connie. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. And... Um, and then today, we were talking about people turning 70. Today's Bill Thompson's birthday. He turned oh, 70. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old part. <laughs> I have to put in this statement. My husband's name is Bill Thompson. Oh, is, is it? Everybody calls, it, calls him Casey if they know him because his dad didn't want him to be called after him. His name was Bill. And his mother had already got the baby settled with her mother-in-law. And so when my father-in-law came in, he said, what if I don't want to call him Casey? What if I want to call him, or Bill? What if I don't call him Bill? What if I want to call him Casey? So nobody, it's really great because if anybody does a false phone call or some kind of off thing, yeah. um, we don't even to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's the most, uh, for men, it's the most, the largest, body of um people with the with the name uh thompson and william thompson is that well, one? Bill, ah. bill well, thompson I worked with my daughter at the county and she ended up going to before she started working at the county she went to uh i think it was their high school prom or something with Bill's son, Steve. Oh, really? I, I had to tell my daughter the story about how Steve got his name because Bill and Steve Tuttle were best buds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, that's sweet. Name anyway, his first son after yeah, him. He, he liked to give my daughter a bad time at work, but you know, a hundred <laughs> years ago. <laughs> they're a funny, funny group of fa they're good family. They're funny. Yeah. You know. I know that we are all being very <laughs> sentimental. But I wondered if you would like to, to um, I have an ancestry that's, very, that's not, a new, it's very, very, and I would like to, I can do it pretty quickly, and you might be very interested. Well, is, is that it, what is, you did at the reunion? Yeah, you did it. Yes. At the Were you there? Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Well, we, I learned more sense then. Um, I have a cousin um, who Joan, Joan Bev. Yeah. Hi, Joan Bev, but we don't have audio. Steve, do your magic fingers. I already asked her to unmute, but you can try and unmute yourself, Joan. Could be a little thing in the bottom, in the bottom left corner. Exactly. Little microphone shape. There you go. No, you're on. Good. Speak. Hey, hello. 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 Hi, yeah. <laughs> My Price. name in high school was Joni Price. Yeah. Hey, hi. Uh, Good to Price. see you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hi. Hi, Joni. I, I ran I into uh, Patty Duncan <laughs> at the hairdressers. It's been a couple months ago. You and saw Patty? I did. Yeah. She. Uh, Harvey and uh, 
And Harvey Manning and uh, Kevin Cushman went and visited her before the reunion and they shared a picture of her with me and they, they took her out and shared how she's um, yeah. uh, not doing well. Oh. Is Harvey still around? Har Harvey's back in uh, Texas playing Santa Claus. Maybe he's finished by now. Hmm. He's That's an old Harvey is an old oh. Santa Claus. But anyway, go ahead and talk about Patty. Well, anyway, she, she, she came up and started talking to me and then um, her hairdresser told me later that, that she's got uh, dementia now. Dementia. Oh, yeah. No. Her mom, her mom had that as well, as I understand. Mm. And so she is, yeah. So she didn't come to reunion about a year and a half, two years ago. She um, unsubscribed from the email list. I think because it just was, oh, it was just yeah. too confusing for her as well. Yeah. And Harvey, Harvey and Kevin said, it's only if you are face to face with her that she um, can even um, pretend to indicate that she knows you or remembers you. Well, she, really? did, she came up to me and remembered me. Right. Uh -huh. It blew me away. Yeah. yeah. Just remind me. She guys, was so packed. Did, didn't mm -hmm. she marry Crawford? Yeah, Sam Crawford died a couple years ago from a heart attack. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. yeah. He had, he was uh, bicycling. I missed what we were talking about. I'm sorry. We're talking about uh, Patty Duncan. Oh. Yeah. Patty yeah. Duncan, she married oh. Sam Crawford from 69. Yeah. yeah. I, and so, I thought that, that Patty, because wow. there was like a committee of people from Ramona, I thought they ran this, this um, uh, alumni. For some years did i get it wrong yeah well, that's correct that's correct what happened was we had a 10 year 20 year 26 year that was joint with class of 71 and then nothing happened yeah. for 30 and that's when i stepped in and they uh, just, they just burned out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. which okay. happens yeah <laughs> you guys Please don't burn out. i don't understand why hi diana <laughs> hi hi joni good to see you in a many, many we know, uh, let's see, I was trying to think of some mutual friends we had that might have gone from junior high to high school. Um, darn it, can you remember any of them? No. <laughs> My memory's terrible. Uh, if I think of it later, I'll shout it out, okay? I, uh, did you know Esther Musser or I mean, Esther Stevenson? No, it was, uh, nope, I'll, I'll let you know later. Um, you know, uh, the Patty Duncan and her husband on the 40 year reunion, they went up to the Mount Rubidoux hike and I had sprained my ankle and wrapped it really tight and used a walking stick so I could go up Mount Rubidoux. They were so sweet to walk me back down the mountain to my car before they went to Delia's bakery or, you know, Delia's. And I just thought that was so Grinders. sweet of them, you know, that's how they were. There. So does it just do it by itself? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> she um, so the same. <laughs> she was so nice in high yes. school. She was really a nice she, yeah. person, a good yeah. person. I remember her being yeah. friendly and bubbly and involved in things and yeah. kind. Yeah. She was kind. Yeah. yeah. Very that was, funny. That was something that in, in those days you didn't recognize, but I did with her. She was very yeah. kind. We were on the cusp of changing, you know, from the generational niceness. Uh, but I, I remember Linda and I were nice girls too. <laughs> but Patty that. was probably more compassionate. I don't know. I was very shy in high school. Who, who were nice people and who were bad people in school? No, we're not going to go there. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to I remember. Yeah. Speaking of nice people, I've got my wife here now too. <laughs> I to tell you, Steve, I especially liked when you put the ages on that uh, memorial video. That really was nice to show how the, how old they were when they did pass. Yeah. It was a lot of work for you, a lot of math. <laughs> no, it's, it's a that was an Hi there, how are you? Krista is here. If you don't Hi, know Krista. 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 Robert. Hi, Krista. It's Robert. Hi, yeah. Hi Krista. Krista. I love all your family pics, pics that you put on that. Hi, Steve. Krista. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah. Hey, Krista, I'm, 
Krista, I'm sorry about your dad. I know that he passed away this last year. Thank you. Yeah. I, I met him. He's a good man. He was a good oh, yeah? man. Yeah. yeah. At the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. I read about that. Yeah. In this house. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We had him here. Oh. Yeah. All right. Three more. Hey, Fred. Yeah. I remember you because um, we ran on the track team together. And uh, I remember you were so tenacious. And I always admired your tenacity when you ran. You gave it everything you had. Wait a minute. Who am I talking to? This is Robert Jaramillo. Really? Jaramillo. Jaramillo, oh, yeah. Jaramillo. Wow. Uh, Robert. Fred, do you speak do you speak Spanish? I do. I learned it. I remember uh remember Mr. Price. Any you guys have Mr. Price in Spanish? Yeah. Well, anyway, um when I was taking Spanish with Mr. Price, yeah. He knew my dad was a Spanish teacher and could speak Spanish fluently, and he yeah. thought I was going to be his prize student. <laughs> I was more, I was more interested in Sherry Courtney, but he sat behind me. <laughs> and um, he was always, he would call my dad, I found out, he would call my dad and go, your son is not doing good in Spanish, and can you help me? <laughs> but um, I traveled in South America, and now I speak Spanish fluently. Yeah, and um, I always, I always kind of go, Mr. Price, you'd be proud of me right now. <laughs> I think I got a D in Spanish. Wow, I did too. Oh, <laughs> I got a D in geometry. Robert, I spoke to you since we were about that age. You know what? I'm sorry. I haven't spoken to you since we were about that age. You know, of course, you always have a good impression. Reverse short guy. Uh, I don't know. How we ended up running track together because remember Mike Agnew? You might, I yeah. Is he there? Yeah, Mike didn't run that. No, Mike didn't, didn't run here. Nope. No. Okay, well, Mike didn't do running for anything. Now get this, you guys. Mike Agnew, probably the tallest guy. Oh yeah. In our sixth grade class, he was five feet eleven. Five feet eleven in sixth grade. Wow. And, <laughs> and I was four feet two. <laughs> <laughs> and we were and we were on the we were on the track team together. <laughs> I remember, ran track. I remember we track Tom team. Lear. Tom yes, Lear. he was tall. Well, he had a beard in sixth grade. <laughs> I mean, he had five o'clock shadow in sixth grade. Wow. You just said the name. Of I remember I was talking to my friend Tom Dieterichs the other day. He was yeah. And we were talking about Tom Weir because I remember, I, you know, he, he, was, he kept held, held back to be in our class because he was a year older than us. And it was about the time we were in the second grade together. But I remember Tom Weir, you know. So you went to Jefferson? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, so did I. And I remember one time Tom Weir well, squatted like, down. Oh, Diana, oh, this, Diana. What's your surname? Uh, Smith Blah. And so, and so we can't just play with one person. <laughs> so he, Tom Lear kind of squatted down and he looked up at Mike Agnew and he called him Coffee Can. I don't know if that was a nickname or what, but he was looking up to emphasize Mike's height, you know. So I just have a memory of that walking down the corridor one day. <laughs> so who did you have oh, for sixth grade? Who was your teacher? Coffee. Yeah. Who was well, your Steve teacher in sixth? Oh. Steve, Steve, Steve Zappa there and, and Mike are always in, in contact. Steve's known him. God, when did you guys meet up? So, well, I didn't meet him until high didn't meet him till high school. I didn't grow up in Riverside. I grew up in Palm Springs. Really? With the Indians. Wow. That was born, born in Riverside and moved when I was three down to the desert. And then he came back was came back at the beginning of our sophomore year. So but yeah, I've kept kept in touch with Mike. Uh, um, she's yeah, forever since uh, after high school as well. Yeah. Steve, I, I thought you were from Banning, Steve. Banning, Cabazon, maybe. Yeah, Cabazon. Yeah, Cabazon. yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, Cathedral City. Yeah, yeah. was it Palm Springs? That was a nice tribe. 
no, no. <laughs> we uh, went, went to uh, junior high and high school in Palm Springs. Yeah, right. I, uh, people don't know where Cathedral City is unless you are from uh, Southern California. I do. Hmm. Well, you're uh, heavy you know, of the county to get that knowledge. Well, well, we should we, we should yep. meet up at some point, Steve. I I you could have some really interesting conversations. Yeah. Um, well, so uh, you morning, haven't, Fred. I'm, Fred. I'm down. I'm down here in the common. Bye bye. And the British <laughs> Crown, of course, is, continues to hold on to New Zealand, and oh. just like in Palm Springs, where is it the Kowea Indian tribe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Palm Springs. I'm a Caliente band. Of the Queer is Indian. that it? One? So it's the Bob it's Hope tribe. Right. Yeah. The Bob How's Hope tribe. <laughs> it's a 100 year lease, correct? Uh, they, yeah, the every, it's a checkerboard in, in Palm Springs. Every other section is Indian land. And they give 100 yeah, year leases. Yeah. I guess do you want another one? It's a very interesting. Story. Where's the background noise coming from? Who's got noise in the background? Well, not me. I'm trying to. Anyway, um, Fred, you haven't you haven't shared Fred your uh, uh, the news from this past year. Which one was it? Oh, I got married. Getting married? Yes. Oh, no. Really? No, I'm, How could you forget oh. that? <laughs> I'm probably one of those worst case stories of the graduates of 1970 and that a lot of people ask this question. Well, how many times officially have you been married? But um, this is my third. I, this one's actually, I, as you know, I, I often had to marry under the back. But this has been a good one. Did you say uh, this is your fifth? Third. Third. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. I didn't, marry, I didn't want to get married until I was old enough. Ooh. Wasn't good for one and two. <laughs> yeah, well, the joke for a while was that whoever Fred marries says never get married again. So. <laughs> what do you kill them but, off? Uh, <laughs> this, this gal seems to tolerate me pretty well. She's a very high threshold of tolerance. Great. She's from New Zealand, Fred. <laughs> Either you or she. <laughs> you didn't have the color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful gal. She's, she's, you know, as you probably know, they always say that New Zealanders are Pacific. Either uh, Pacific, and you know, you heard me asking about um, Vivian Schuler earlier. When I was in the sixth grade, and we we're all on the track team and everything. My father used to come along and always watch the German girls like Marilyn Lozier, Vivian Schuler, and all that. <laughs> say, you need to keep your eyes on these girls so when you're older you can marry the right kind of woman <laughs> <laughs> and, and father the Aryan race yeah <laughs> my god oh yeah so it's a joke isn't it I mean when I start talking yeah. about German, German hey, uh, hey Fred Fred yeah I thought that um like New Zealand and Canada no are no longer part of the Commonwealth or they are no the Queen is no longer there head of state i thought that happened in new zealand also just recently uh they keep working on it you need you need to have a big enough population to think about going independent um i used to be a permanent resident of australia and even when i was there 40 years ago or something they had votes about this and in the end it's very very difficult to not to break away from the motherland unless you have military and economic power to defend yourself. Hmm. So well, we only have well, five points. And well, so Fred, our situation is still, go ahead. Well, you're well Fred, yeah. you're not too old to help populate New Zealand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working on the rest of the world. And then, actually, you know, this is this conversation at the COP26 conference in there in Stockholm. And really, it just seems like we just need no more time talking about population control. So I never uh, did have Ehrlich that. again. Oh. Ehrlich again. Mm. Yeah. So it's uh, I didn't uh, I didn't ever have children, mm. and a lot of people ask why, but I think it's a lot of it's having the money because you need to be you know your younger women look at you and what you can earn a bit more, and then secondly, <laughs> uh, you got to have confidence no, to pull it off. You didn't yell it, did you? No, I still draw. <laughs> Well, 
Yeah, you're, you're right. And it's, uh, I, I always said I'd rather be an uncle than a father. Oh. I didn't even pull that off well. But yeah, I get that. In yeah. fact, you know, I remember, I remember the, probably one of the first times I had some kind of communication with Steve, Steve C. Zappa here. Um, he had, he was still married to his first wife. And I think they had little children or something. And they, they were doing backpacks and stuff. I thought, look how these people actually pull these things off. You know, I always thought it was like the most ideal situation where you could raise your kids, go off and recreate with them so that when they grow up, they can be your friends. Really simple. Um, well, I, I've met his kids and he's done a really, yeah. really good job. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember many, many years ago, I was in the Sierra Nevadas and I came across a couple that were kind of like that. You know, the husband and wife and this kid sitting next to him in the backpack. And I thought, what a neat way to do life. Mm. I just could never get there. They, they aren't born that way. You have to, you know. <laughs> my daughter hated hiking until uh, she got into the uh, seventh and eighth grade and started running track. And she stopped yeah. asking, how far is it till we get to some place? When I said, oh, it's about a mile ahead, she finally said, oh, that's not far. And I, I told her it was always, you know, mind, mind over body. And she learned it. So. Yeah. Hey, Barbara, you still got kids in the background. Okay. I muted you. You're muted. <laughs> so, it's Mr. Maines, uh, share your uh, your sheep raising experiences with uh, Fred, who seems to be not quite intimately familiar with sheep, but but somewhat familiar with them. <laughs> You mean when I have a sledgehammer with me every morning to break the ice? <laughs> well, you gotta, you, you've been posting pictures of your of your ram, James Bond, lately, right? Oh, God, <laughs> yes. If you haven't seen, this is the most amazing animal. Most rams are nasty critters. Hey, breeding males, nasty critters. James, Honey. Paul, he comes to you. You scratch his head and his tail wags. Aww. Uh, he and my horse are best buddies. Oh, he's a Ramona ram. <laughs> well, there you go. That we had, but yeah. Your cat sneaking up. Ah, that's funny. Oh, yes, he's making the roundabout. And then he'll <laughs> try to clean my plate off. And he'll probably put his butt to the camera. <laughs> that's Mayo. <laughs> Mayonnaise. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. He's pure white. Yeah. And we had his brother when they were kittens, who the vet named BLT. Aww. That actually translated to butt looking Tom. It <laughs> 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 was a special job. And my vet, who was a very stoic man, he came up with this. And so we had BLT and Mayo. <laughs> oh, that's uh, cute. He's pushing 15, actually. Wow, that's good. Yeah. His brother. Well, I got rid of we, we, used to have, we used to have sheep here. Yeah. God, <laughs> sheep are stupid. <laughs> and they took IQ out of the universe. Is that a stereotype? <laughs> no. You know, I've had several volunteer for the meat locker. <laughs> it's been there their entire life uh, in a 10 foot wide gate uh, I'm still a city boy that's not something I enjoy now goats are a different story they are I have six goats one of which I could literally put a saddle on <laughs> no he um, his back comes up to my waist wow you know, for the longest time, I used to think goats were male sheep. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, if you're born the same family. Kitty boy. Yeah. <laughs> the goats actually flock better than the sheep do. They actually have some intelligence. And they can get into all sorts of trouble. I, I like how they're always playing king of the hill. You mean jumping into the tractor? <laughs> yeah, whatever. 
They'll jump into the tractor bucket. Wow. <laughs> and they eat everything. I have 30 well. acres that's, uh, for the sake of discussion, devoid of trees. <laughs> I've been five years we've been up here. I'm, I'm going to leave, <clears throat> leave this place with shade trees, fruit trees, and so far it's like goats 15, Steve 2. Oh. <laughs> I have spent a fortune trying to goat proof trees. Mm -hmm. And every time I think I've come up with a plan, they've managed to eat their way it. through it. <laughs> Just, I started out with concrete mesh, if you know what that is, six by six squares. And I put a, like a 10 foot circle around it, D posts. Goats can bend their heads and stick their neck in through a good wow. These are big goats. <laughs> they can stand. They, they stand up. They do eat brush. They're great. They have like five invasive species on my ranch. <laughs> and um, it's okay. sheep are picky. And goats can be picky too, but if they're hungry, they'll brick craze about everything. <laughs> and who, who's the speaker? Who, who is this? Steve Maine. Steve Maine. You, you can't wave, Steve. He can't see you. He can just oh. hear you. Okay, it's Steve Maine's. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, up by Mount Shasta. <laughs> oh, you live up there, out of, out of Reading or one of those places? Uh, about 90 minutes from Reading and about Ashland, Medford to the north. It's about yeah. an hour away. So both the passes from Reading to uh, Medford have been getting closed on and off, mainly because of stupid truck drivers. We know there's a jackknife rig. It's either a prime truck or legend truck. <laughs> no wonder my order's late. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's where your package went. <laughs> yeah. On the highway. Oh, Beth has got it in front of the tree. Yay, Beth. Well, she put a tree behind her. It's a, it's a yeah. This is, this is my ornament tree. When and it does oh. funny things with your hair, Beth. It's doing things with my hair? Funny things. It looks like your hair is blowing in the wind, but actually it's just being overtaken by the uh, background. Yeah. yeah. Dark and it's oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very good, yeah. Her that's hair is an ornament. And it's a very, very special tree. Yeah. A lot of the ornaments were given to me by my mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all just beautiful. I, I could share each ornament with you. But anyway, I won't go that far. <laughs> well, we like your tree. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's I like your hair, too. Well, listen, boys yeah. and girls, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. My husband's uh -huh. probably going to beat down the door in a minute because I haven't fed him yet. You know how husbands are. <laughs> they don't know how to fix their own food. I'll be right over. I'm hungry, too. Okay. <laughs> I'll, see you. I'll like see you in March, Linda. Okay, Diana. Keep in touch. Okay. Oh, thanks. Way, Don Wilson's in Texas. or He was out here, and he's on his way back to Texas. I guess. Oh, so he was visiting out here, but he's going back to Phil Belair's house. Yeah, I didn't get a yeah. chance to see him because our schedules didn't match up, but uh, yeah. Yeah. anyway. Okay. Anyway, so, you guys have a happy Don new year. Phil Belair. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, that was musical. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was, that was Fred's uh, connection. Yeah. Really bad, but... yeah. Thank you, oh. Linda. Okay, have a good one, you guys. Bye, kiddo. Bye. Bye. So I've had to mute Barbara a couple of times because her kids are noisy. Can I unmute you? Can I ask you to unmute again? Or Because when I start yakking, when they start yakking, it's like, whoa. Yeah, and you know, they're actually being quiet. This is very, very quiet. <laughs> this is good for them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so from 3, 6, 9, 11, and 13. So they've been with us for two and a half years. Yeah, the ones you had at the picnic, yeah. right? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, a couple of them went in the other room, but this is, they just kind of yeah. go back and forth. It's the corridor. Yeah. So I don't mind if, if you mute me. <laughs> if I have something to say, I'll just turn it back on. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's good to see everybody. I got to take off as well. So.
Okay, Mike. Hi, Mike. It's your thing for joining Mike. us. Bye. Good to have you it here. Just that Michael. Michael Bannock. Right. Yep. Maybe one of these days I'll make it to New Zealand. So you might, uh, yeah. Yeah, you should come and see me. I'll catch up on. All righty. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but I hardly really knew any girls at, at uh, junior high, high school. Um, and you always always hung out with all these guys who became athletes and good musicians and all that. But mm -hmm. uh, Bill Blair, Don Wilson, Robert, yeah. Robert, 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 Robert Mosillo was there as well. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. So I did, oh. you know, of course, as you grew up, but you women differently. Well, but, you know um, what? <clears throat> it's okay. I love the way you do remember people and you have a good memory about the people you knew and about Riverside. I really enjoyed that on our last, you know, on the first one you came to. That was, thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't get anymore. I think I'll probably see. So I know it's he's getting far away from the house. Yeah. <laughs> your connections, your connection's a little poor, Fred. You're breaking up. Is it? It would I'm on 3G technology. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. God. That'll do it. I, I need that'll do it. So I've 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 put some uh, fiber 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 tubing down. 300 meters down but i've got to get it all finished off yeah you know? it's a lot yeah it's getting a bit old to do all this stuff you do in your 20s <laughs> amen to that brother i'm <laughs> trying to build a new barn or new corral and it's 30 degrees and i'm still a still have my southern california uh -huh. temperature yeah. yeah and um neighbors give me crap i'm bundled up with electric boots and they're in uh, like and shorts, except in wow. the summer when it's 105, the local cowboys melt, and I just keep on ticking. There you go. <laughs> All in California tonight. You need to be a yeah, snowbird, is. have a snowbird ranch, one in the north and one in the south. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I'm going to sign off to everybody. Everybody have Hi, a nice Janet, Happy New Year. Happy New Hi, Year. Hi, Barbara. And it was Stay good seeing everybody. all of you. Okay, Janet, glad you were able to get in. And uh, and who is that behind you? Is that us? A... Oh, that's my elf on the shelf. Up in the shelf. <laughs> I'm looking to see. You gotta have one. And you know, this elf on the shelf has a baby elf on the shelf. Oh dear. But the <laughs> How's best... that happen? But well, you know, I don't know. But the best part of the elf on the shelf is the hat. I don't know if you can see this. Is it alive? <laughs> it's alive. Which Janet is this? Oh, one? all you have to do is squeeze the ball and it comes alive. Oh, hmm. <laughs> we'll remember that. <laughs> Janet, before you go, what part yeah. of Washington are you in? Um, Longview, Washington. I'm okay. My <laughs> oldest lives in Linden. Linden. Below Canada. I above don't. Bellingham. Oh, okay. I know where Bellingham is. Yes. Yeah. So he's in oh, a little Danish town. Oh, okay. I yeah. have not been there yet. You know, since I moved here, um, you know, I was doing a lot of stuff with my family uh, for, for obligations. And then COVID kicked in and I haven't got to discover Washington like I did Oregon. I could tell you everything about Oregon after living there seven years. And yeah, we have yeah. some relatives in Oregon too. And um, so we travel up and visit people, you know, in Oregon and Washington. Yeah. We haven't been up there either for the last two, two years. Oh, but I know you had a bad storm, I think, last month. And right now it's pouring outside really bad. We haven't, we're right at the snow level. So we haven't had snow, but we get the heavy frost. We're at 3,000 feet. But right now it's pouring hard. So I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, yeah, we else had, having a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain. And then um, earlier, I, I told everybody that we woke up to a white Christmas 
it got down to 22 degrees wow. and, <laughs> and we're completely what I call snowed in. I mean, I'm not going and driving in snow. Mm, so, yeah. um, and uh, they said tonight it's going to go down again. And okay. it will, only got up to 25 degrees today. Wow. Um, so this yeah, is the ground of, freezes. And... But it's beautiful. It's beautiful yeah, it now. Is. And in a while, I'll get tired of it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it up there. Great likes desert and I love the, the oh yeah. Home. Yeah. We got variety. There's no and the beautiful thing about leaving California, which was very hard for me after 48 mm -hmm. years of living there, there are really four seasons. Yeah. When you are in the Pacific Northwest, there really is. And each yeah, one is so distinctive and so beautiful. The colors in the fall cannot be matched. I mean, it, it's like New right. Hampshire, New England. Um, in the spring, you cannot look at a person's yard without having thousands of flowers popping up. You know, it's just like, where do they all come from? Yeah, and, and you, the, you love flowers. I notice all, oh all times my God. Yeah, you do I, really good with flowers. The people at the nurseries in town see me coming, Janet, you know, it's like warm <laughs> for cheers. <laughs> The old the flower child is back again. And so this yeah. spring we'll we'll look forward to your flowers. Well, thank you. I, I do have them all on the front of my house, the back, the sides, and I just can't get enough of everything is so green here. But you know, oh, yeah. like almost six months of the year. So of course yeah. it's gonna be yeah. green, you know. But it, it is beautiful. Is but here, Jen, Jen, oh, who, was, who was your maiden name, Jen? Uh, Sagan. It was Sagan. Oh, yeah. Are you Janet Stegan? Yes, uh-huh. Do you remember me? Yes, I do. That's why I asked you about um, Jeff, because I dated Jeff Bassett um, when I, uh, right out of high school, when I went to RCC, and we're still friends. And then the other day when he told me that your sister and your brother had come to visit, I said, God, this is a small world. This is just too much. <laughs> well, here's another one for you. If I'm the same person, I think you are. I think you were, you were, you sat right next to me when we were in junior high school. Yes. Yes, we did. Um, <laughs> um, and I believe, do you have an elder brother? Yes, Paul. Paul, Paul graduated and, in 69. Have, Basketball. Have, Basketball, then, baseball. <laughs> And do you have an mm -hmm. elder brother than that? Um, I have, yes, I have a much older brother. He's, well, he's not that much older. He's 75 now. His, his name is Rockney. Okay. Because yeah. your family has come up in the course of my lifetime quite a few times. Really? And I've lived on the planet. It's really interesting because I remembered you because your good looking young, young little girl when we were in, in junior high. Many yeah. years ago, yes. <laughs> yeah, you. I think we took English together. I think. Gosh, I don't know. I do remember you in classes. I can't remember which classes. And that's why when you logged on last time at the video session, I said, oh, my God. I mean, that's going back, well, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Well, that's not long. Oh, no. No, that's just 60. a snap. Just a snap. <laughs> Oh, it's Steve, you're keeping track of things. Are you still there, Steve? Yep. Steve Zappa? Yeah. Yep. Did you did you ever hear of a guy named John Smith? Did you go to Ramona? John, John Smith. Uh, yeah. it's I knew one in, in, in at UC Riverside, but he was younger than us. I let me take a look okay. here. I don't know. I don't think so. Let me see here. How about Michael Katz? Yeah, Michael that Katz. sounds familiar. Katz. That's K. He's at. He's at. I don't see a John Smith. Let me go back and look for cats here. That that doesn't strike a bell either. But let me see. No. Mm, no. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Katz. He's a lo he's lost on my list. There was a Michael Katz. I'm not sure where I got the name from. I'll tell you why. Ramona High School. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, but I think, I think he left in his junior year because I remember his coming to me and saying goodbye because we literally grew up from elementary school. And we were really close, as you all are when you're in elementary school. And he went to Big Bear. His family moved to Big Bear. I never ever would hear from him again. Hmm. So that was the that was the last connection. Because because for me to find somebody, it's like a middle name, a birth date, 
or a sibling. That was the last day. That was in 1960. Yeah, that's a good one. I too do a lot of investigatory work. Yeah. I didn't, I, I never knew his family members. He again was from a German family. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's interesting. Well, Janet Sagan, isn't that? Is she still there? That's yeah. wrong. Yes. I'm still hanging in here. I know. God, yes, I've changed. <laughs> well, I don't know. Steve's known me for about 20 years now, and I don't think, you know. <laughs> uh, Always crazy. Well, Always crazy. What's, what's funny <laughs> is, is Fred has his video camera yeah. on, but it's like he's a blind person because he can't see his screen. Oh, so it's good. Like, it's, it's like reverse <laughs> where we can see him, but yeah. he can't see us, so we can, like, go. He's funny. <laughs> like that. I remember Fred is really cute, and I, I was always so damn tall because I was 5'11. I now am 5'8. You know, I'm just going down. Well, I don't want to talk about that. But Fred was always so cute, and I thought, God, I'm so damn tall. I was just over him. <laughs> Fred, Fred did send me some pictures from his wedding uh, with the intent to put them into the. Uh, uh the pictorial uh, uh memory book but also i want to get make sure i can put it with his high school picture uh oh, because yeah. yeah his high school picture was like very very uh, uh handsome young man yes he was like, clean cut clean yeah, cut. now he's just now he's just like uh he looks like the rest of us we're just like pff, old yeah <laughs> 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 well there's there's he something like you said earlier house Janet. And I used to, I remember I went, went to somebody's house at one point and the children ran away from the living room. <laughs> so, no, I'm full of Charles Manson. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, don't, don't feel bad, Fred. I, I never had kids. I didn't get married till late in life and that was a disaster. Uh, we won't go down there. And mm -hmm. so I've never had kids, but Paul, Paul has two. He has a, a daughter and a son and the son is married and, and now they have a baby. So I'm a great aunt and I Aww. love, yeah. I love being a great aunt, you know, as I mean, as opposed to a, not a, not a great aunt, You're an adequate, aunt. adequate aunt. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm not or, great, uh, a great aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, well, if your brother remember me i think i think paul yeah i can't remember because i'm i've known people through people as well was anybody interested in of your brothers were they ever involved with dogs raising or rearing dogs no paul paul was interesting he was so much in sports all through his whole career mm -hmm. and then the first year at rcc he was on the basketball team and he was a pitcher and he decided to fix his motorcycle with the engine running. Now, we don't need to say much more, but his career as a pitcher ended because he cut off his pitching finger. Oh, my gosh. And at the time, he was being looked at by the Mormons to go to their college, uh, the Angels and the Dodgers and all the different teams because he was comparing mm. to Andy Koufax mm. as far as how fast his um, pitching car was. So that was the end of his career. So he just met a girl that he worked in. I shouldn't say just, but he met a girl that um, he worked in White Front with, and they moved up to her family, which was Northern California, for fifty years. White Front. That's a name you haven't heard in. Yeah, time. really. Like White Grants. Front. Yes. Yeah. I know White Front Grants. You know when they have that thing on t on the internet that says the stores. You remember? Oh my God, Jemco, Fedco. <laughs> I, they're all gone. I, and those I are the know. good stores. I mean, do you remember Zodi's? Yeah. yeah. Kmart is gone now. Yeah. What is now? Kmart. Okay. Kmart. I know. Sears they, is gone. They Sears. took the Kmart. Yeah. I, I hated that. I used to make fun that 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 you know people who shop at Kmart look different than other people, and then Walmart took over that. Yeah. Walmart became the place where people look. Different. It's Walmart people, they call them. Oh, yeah, remember Prissy Miss? Remember Prissy Miss dress clothing store for girls? Yeah. It was Walton Arcade yes. or downtown? The J.C. Penney's was downtown with the wood floor. That's remember, right. Mm -hmm. Might have been Sears, but I think it was J.C. Penney's. And they had Prissy Miss. And my mom took my sisters and I there one time to try and bathing suits. And my sister kept trying to pull the bottoms up like to fit over her top. But it was a topless bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was kind of ahead of the time, you know. Oh, oh, in the say, that's really. We were just, a wedgie. Yeah, we were just, we were flabbergasted. Well, we were in maybe junior high school, and we were totally innocent, you know. <laughs> Oh my God! I can't believe that, that didn't. Somebody told me. That I think they got them accidentally, like, and and didn't realize what they were stealing. They were. <laughs> is it true that the the uh, Sears Robux is gone now in yeah. Riverside? It's been leveled. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's a not torn down. Now it's oh, a COVID yeah, testing. it's empty. Yeah, oh, that's just so boys hard. Boys yeah. huh? well, it's a COVID COVID well, testing center. It, Oh, well, that's am good. I still? Am I still? What? You're frozen, Fred. Relax. Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got his finger up against his mouth here. And he's Steve, still on? Okay. Say that again, Fred. You can see. Okay, okay I want. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to make a quick comment involved okay. the Sierra Club. And the, the Sierra Club, you know, with a long time ago um, became an enormous organization in the United States in my premise and they, they actually my mother was always organized in, with her people trying to avoid Sears being developed down the road oh no kidding and, and Later on, when it was built, of all things, my my sister Lynette went down there one day and met Sir Edmund Hillary. Sir Edmund yeah. Hillary was climbing Mount Everest and I oh, know. And yeah. they Sears hired him on a call. And so he was down there and he and my sister saw him and she says, Well, you're you look like Ed Hillary. And he says, Well, I am. <laughs> well, he was staying at our family friend's house in the orange groves out there. <laughs> and it's a kind of interesting story because, you know, Sears in the States, I wonder, and the guy I was talking to said, well, welcome to this depressed part of Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't that depressed. <laughs> Lasted a long time. Yeah, he said, yeah, but he just said, that he, well, he said that Sears was going to go, and I guess it sounds like it has. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Go. Tony <laughs> said she's going to leave. Yeah, my husband's popping the popcorn, so I got to go. Oh, oh you, you, you haven't said much. Are you still writing? Are you doing interesting stuff? Um, I'm just now starting to write a little bit again. Um, I like to write poetry mainly, but my 13-year-old uh, granddaughter who's going to be 14 next month is really a fantastic writer. Oh yeah. She just texted me tonight and said, Grandma, I have this great idea for a novel. <laughs> she's Good really, she's very, very, very talented. So I'm thrilled because my kids could care less about writing. Yeah. So, oh. it, it's skipped a generation. Yeah. And yeah. she's very artistic. She's, she does fantastic drawings and she's really, she, she made me, I mean, she's, you know, almost 14. <laughs> This kid, she made me a book from scratch. The whole yeah. thing. She made oh. a cover. She made the pages, like the old-fashioned bookmaking skills. Yeah. I, she, yeah. She just handed the whole book. It's just beautiful. Little journal. Wow, it's a treasure. Oh. Yeah. yeah. She is definitely. Wow. But yeah, I and haven't. I haven't done a whole lot of writing lately. Um, but I'm getting back into it again. And mainly, I garden. I garden all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. obsessed with gardening. And so you got your knees from gardening or you got. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's easy to get down and plant things, but it's not easy to get back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I enjoy it. I love, I love California and I, I love the weather here and love to garden. And, and who, uh, who are you? Four grandkids, two, two kids. And who are you? Oh, Joni Price. Joni Price. I was Joni Price in high school. Hi, Joni Price. But I was oh shy and didn't really uh, oh, have a lot of kids. Okay. So anyway, but thanks for doing this. It was fun to. Oh, okay. Uh, good to see you. But the, yeah, pop, right? the popcorn is calling you, right? <laughs> popcorn yeah, is the popcorn's calling. We're, we're I smell the butter. 
awkward. Yeah. Yeah, they're also color. They poppers for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the grandkids love it. It's, it's, oh, yeah. It's the kind that you can see it, you know. So Real Not the Remember Jiffy Pop? Pop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're aging yourself, Diana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. It's like so sitting Diana, under a hair dryer at the salon. Remember, those were old days, too. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> Diana, where do you live? Um, I'm in uh, Northwest Arkansas in Rogers, and we came here in 2016. So Joni Price. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in Southern California, still only about two hours from Riverside. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, come once a year out. to see my people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have What, Beth? Where do you come in, in California? What? Yeah, I'm still in California. I'm still in Riverside. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yep. Are you? Who is this, Joni? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in Riverside too? No, I'm. I'm two hours away. I'm in Simi Valley. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Joni, it's so good to see you. It's very nice to see you. Yeah. I, I'm off the thing. I don't know what, where I'm. Oh, here. Flipping off and on. Yeah. Well, guys, yeah. I'm going to have to bail. I have to bring my dogs in. It's. Beginning to snow a little. In the oh, yeah. We need to come okay. in. Do that. <laughs> you know, uh, email me, everybody. <laughs> if you would bring Bye. your goats in, <laughs> if you would bring your goats in, they may not eat your fruit trees. That's, That's true. Oh, okay. okay. That's the problem. You got to do it. a man that knows. <laughs> you have to bring in my border collies. The mm. goats have their own shelters and Okay, goats also do not like to get wet. Oh, it okay. Raining, it's a charge coming into the, the sheds. Mm -hmm. And then the sheep don't know what's going on, so they all come barreling in after them. <laughs> and they don't all make the turn from the field into the... <laughs> it's a <laughs> rough life. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. Steve. Bye, Steve. Yeah. bye. I'm going to sign so, off now, too. You wow. all have a very nice Happy New Year. It was great seeing you. Yeah. You made me laugh. Oh, well, I try. You know, you oh, can only do so much. Good. Good. <laughs> okay. Take care. Bye. Okay. My dogs have the zoomies. I'm having to mute once in a while here. Oh, okay. Are they tuning? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Zoomie, they're not that zooming. That was Steve. They're, that was Steve. They're running. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got you. Well, this physical. I was one, just wanted to say that this this all has a lot of a lot of meaning to me. I've I have hardly spent really much time in the United States since I was in my twenties. But, um, you know, it's it, we're getting to that point where a lot of people are, are passing on, and it does let you think about the entire spectrum of, you know, how our lives were. Mm -hmm. I, I, I last week I made three phone calls. And all three of these people are forecast to die in the next year. Hmm. And I didn't even know. And, you know, it makes him take pause and, you know, think about the bigger picture. So it's really kind of, it's really great for me, from my perspective, of having lived all over the planet. To come back to all this and to yeah. see all you, yeah. hear all your stories about various people, places you shopped and everything. Because it actually does try to rethink. And uh, are you um, still there? Yeah, yeah we're, we're here. Fred, um, okay. Fred um, you're absolutely right. Um, we, we are passing. And as we saw with Steve's, I don't know if you saw it, but Steve's montage of the people who have passed, and we are passing, and we're all blessed to still be here. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just want to say, Fred, you have a, a, a New Zealand accent now. You, it's not a Southern California accent anymore. You are New Zealand. <laughs> well, he's a Kiwi. A Kiwi, yeah. yeah. On, Kiwi, on, Kiwi. On top of that, yeah. there's been a time when I've talked like this as well. And then there's been another time that I've been speaking like this when I lived in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, in, when I was in Spain, we used to talk a little differently then too, you know? So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what part of Spain, Steve? I Fred? Probably speak to what's that? Huh? What part of what part of Spain? I live I live in Salamanca. Salamanca. Which is, 
Yeah. 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 But I no, I'm I'm just I'm to different people, different different things. And I, being a musician, I was you had to listen. And when you listen, you try to mimic what the other people are doing. Yeah. Yes. And when yeah. I was speaking, well, I had to teach English at various points. I lived in Switzerland in particular. And I had to teach English with an English accent. Mm. So oh. they would understand you if you taught them American English. The so Queen's English. Yeah. And it's, you know, my, this, this wife I have now sometimes accuses me of putting it on, but I just, because I'll be talking to an English person. Uh, well, <laughs> well, can you tell I'm speaking with a Swahili accent? No. Are you? No. <laughs> no, I, I did. I learned to speak Swahili in, in Kenya, so I'm just I curious. You <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm going to go ahead and go. The kids have been quiet for a long So happy New Year, everyone. And you too, Barbara. Next year will be, um, Might be in person. Yeah, easier. And enjoy Arkansas. My nephew lives out, out there and he Does loves he? it. What? Yes. Do you know I the forget, city? He just moved. He was not far from Bentonville. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where we are, not far from Bentonville. Yeah, and he moved about two hours away, so I don't remember where, where he moved. There's a lot of nature and fishing and blue skies and barns, <laughs> old barns, round when bales the of hay. Was, when the <gasps> tornado was hit, yeah, yeah he yeah. said they slept in the hallway if, because the wind was really strong. It can be scary, so, yeah. yeah I but I guess that went through a few states. Yes, it did. Yeah. 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 I'm glad it missed them. Yeah. <laughs> So take care. Happy New Year, Thanks. everyone. And Thank maybe you. we can do this every three months or something. <laughs> well, Twice well, a year. Pandemonium a little bit at times, but uh, hey, whatever. Yeah, or something. Who, who, who are you? Who are um, you? I'm Barbara Morris. Barbara Morris. Yeah, I was, again, one of the quiet ones. And I knew a lot more people, but... All right. I guess um, we were all quiet. Yeah, I didn't get, I wasn't doing any sports or, or anything, just a few different things. But. She was a nice girl, too. Yeah. Nice girl. <laughs> so, right. okay. You well, defined, I think, you've already defined what being a nice person is, Tabby, when you're a woman. Is that what? Good yeah. person. So, so, okay. So, everyone, I don't know how to turn this off. So, no, oh, I don't think I can unplug you, but uh, just, just hit the little button that says end down in the bottom right corner. It says leave. Leave, says yeah, leave. leave, says leave. My okay, now. Just leave. okay, you guys. <laughs> I said Happy Bye, New Year, Barbara. everyone. Like, like yeah, leave. one of the grandkids got hurt, so I think there's gonna be some problems. Uh oh, okay. go kids okay. them. Bye -bye. No blood. No well, blood. She, she went mute. <laughs> well, other side, other side. On the right lower corner, it's red. That's confusing, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, got it. Okay. <laughs> are you are you Robert Hermosillo right there? Is that you? Jaramillo. It's Jaramillo. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, now the pictures are getting bigger so he can see each one of us. Yeah. Um, we three were on the track team up. together. We were in the track team together. Wow. And, um, no, no. Uh, you, said. you were a beautiful runner. You were. I remember that. You were a beautiful runner. One of. I remember when I was on. I remember you know, a guy named Sandy Dunbar. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I met Sandy when I was in elementary school. He was going to some other elementary school, but he became our pitcher. I was on the mm -hmm. the plumbers baseball team, a little league, and um, we were playing baseball one day. It was a it was a you know we were playing, and my father was watching. And the guy next to him said, who's that little boy? He runs like a rabbit and walks like an old man. Mm, interesting. Said, well, that's my. <laughs> yeah. Now he runs like an old man and walks like a rabbit. <laughs> Very weirdly, I could. Hey, um, I dated Sandy. We were, we were both on, we were both on rebound when we dated each other and uh, in our senior year, but it was good. He brought me into another circle of people I got to be in the senior movie and all that but he was like a brother a pesty brother and we just irritated the heck out of each other <laughs> so, so that didn't last too long but he had a Mustang it was his older brother's Mustang that became his and he made me sit in the dip right next to him so I could put my arm around his shoulder 
And when he, and he gave me a little it, pillow to sit on. He what? I don't know. You just had to, you know, put one leg on either he side did. of it. But I just thought that was pretty dorky. <laughs> but he's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. Now he's a nice guy. <laughs> well, he wrote so me before before our fortieth uh, reunion. He, I think they were moving to New Mexico or another state. He was ending out his career, Bob and, and Idaho, he wrote me. In, yeah, and he actually apologized for being a jerk. And I said, I don't think you need to apologize. I said, you know, we were just kids, but I said, thank you for saying that. So <laughs> that's what I mean. He's a nice guy, right? He's a nice guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember Sandy Denbar, and baseball was his thing. Yeah. But he was nice. He was always nice. He was. I think most he went with uh, Julie Christensen. Julie Christensen <laughs> came to our reunion. She's a lovely woman. So. Who? Julie Christensen. From class of 71. Uh, yeah, class of 71. And um, I really enjoyed spending a little time talking with her at our at our very fun 51st reunion. At I think that was our best one. Uh, that was my opinion. So, <laughs> well, what's so funny? You, just you and me that can vouch for it now because, uh, yeah, you guys weren't there. Wheeland and Robert couldn't make it. He was taking care of his dad. Oh, yeah. Or no, maybe no, Val was by then. I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> but I'll just tell you, I'll attest to you. <laughs> Is, okay, is well, how much, how much longer are we going to last here? It's been uh, a couple hours, an hour, two and a half, two, yeah. 15, looks like. You've done really well to keep this going, Steve. I, I actually, I had visitors, so I couldn't get on until this Thursday. Okay. But um, um, I was just, I'll ask, I'll be, I guess I should conclude, I'm going to run out of battery time anyhow. But is the parent naval tree still going in Riverside? Yes. It's so long. Yes. Still there. It has it a translucent protective cover over it that exceeds the height of the tree by several feet because they didn't wow. they didn't want it to die of sunburn or anything. And of course, they built the fence around it years ago, what, 10 or 15 years ago, a kind of a pointy top, you know, points you could die on if you tried to climb over the fence. So uh, it's still living. Good. You know, that's my biggest fear is dying of sunburn. I, I get checked every <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do too. Yeah, I got a fact, scar. Last, last December, my I had scar? my nose cut off. It okay, like, look at my scar here on my forehead. It's that I had some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're all afraid of dying of sunburn. Yeah, or something. And you don't have an ozone layer in New Zealand, I don't think, do you? <laughs> yeah, that what you are starting to say is very true. I have a number of friends who have squamous cell carcinoma. Um, yeah. And again, it, it has a little bit about your ancestral, you know, you mean your, your genes, because if you have yeah. enough melts. So I, my current wife suggests that I pull my act together and wear a hat and roll. Well, that's not but, too much trouble. There's it's it's, too, late. it's, it's too late. It's too late. At this point, it, it's oh, it was sun out of your eyes, right? but it's too late to protect you from- It right. protects you good, from cataracts uh, if you wear a hat, right? Um, it's it's but, too late. It's already happening. Yeah, yeah I know. You know, when we used to wear baby oil with drops of, you didn't do it, but the girls did, baby oil with drops of iodine in it, that's what we used to get tan. Fake tan. Fake tan. Yeah. And so we didn't know better. And I lost my dad to melanoma, and <clears throat> it still took me to get something on my forehead before I started using SPF just to go out of the house. You know, it's a pain, but I guess it's worth something. <laughs> Wow. Peace of mind. We'll, we'll all die someday. Yep. Yep. Yeah. One hundred percent yeah. people yeah. that have been born have died. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. It's gone that high. What? Wow. One more time. Well, my, mother, my mother used to say, "It's really depressing when you're the last person standing." So get younger friends. Oh. <laughs> Or older, older friends. friends, so you're the older, older friends, friends, I think, would work. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're taking sympathy on us at this point, right? <laughs> Having sympathy for us? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Naval orange I, trees growing I, up here. Fred, I, want, I just want to say it was nice talking to you. It was uh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And uh, Diana, it was, yeah. I remember you. Yeah, I remember well. you. 
Yeah. yeah it, was, it was nice talking to you. And Steve, we talk, mm-hmm. so um, it's always nice talking to you. Always. It's good, it's good yeah. seeing you, though, too. It's good seeing you for a change. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, Thanks Pat for coming. came over. Yeah. Thank you. And Steve, um, Pat was over here the other day and uh, we were talking and chatting. I see him about once every other week and we spend some time together. Good. He's doing good. Hanlon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hanlon? Yeah. Where's yeah, Pat, Pat Hanlon? Live now. Where's Pat Hanlon live now? He he lives in Citrus Heights, with Citrus Heights, which is a stone throw from Fair Oaks, from where I live. So I, I see him about once mm-hmm. every two weeks, and we spend Good. some time together. Yeah. Where's Citrus Heights? Sacramento. Sacramento. Area. Sacramento area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, a good athlete when we were young. You'll have yeah. to, you'll have to take a look at the uh, uh, the map that shows the distribution of our class. Yeah. around the u.s and then the few spots around the world but yeah there's a there's a cluster of them up in the sacramento area but most of most okay. of them are down in southern california uh, we have some here in rogers too my husband looked at that but i can't figure out how to hone in on my zip code on the map um application is there any way besides tapping it with my you know with my arrow uh, who can hone in on what are you talking about well, you know, the little map, and it shows a bunch of little uh, things where a bunch of people live in a cluster. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to find out who who they are. And I know their initials are to keep their privacy, but I wanted to figure out where they are in approximation to me. And there's there's so many people clustered, you can't break them out. You got to zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Zoom in. And then if you really want to know, I can tell you who lives who lives uh well i think kim godrin live. lives near kim godrin she was oh, i think she was a smart dead. girl no she, uh, kim godrin is dead you're thinking of oh, debbie, debbie, debbie debbie Gerdecki. okay Gerdecki. she was smart i think she had an older brother rick said was smart like math smart you yeah. know yeah. science Donald, Don i did math Ugh. <laughs> but anyway yeah so we we keep it uh anonymized so that uh you don't have yeah. stalkers and lurkers and things exactly like. i'll go stalk them okay <laughs> Uh, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be afraid. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'll, I'll, I'll say my adieus as well because really I've just about run out of power here. Yeah. Um, and I, I recharge on my solar battery. Oh, okay. So, well, thank yeah, you. Thanks for joining us, Fred. It was good to have you here. Maybe next yes. time you can, uh, like right now, your your uh, your camera is off, so I think that may make it easier for your voice to be transmitted without having to transmit the uh all the information mm. with the videos as well so your voice is coming well, across you. a lot clearer now that's good well thank you and of course Hi, Fred. come on down all right okay nice to see you ladies be, there to Sorry, to no plans. be well and robert i'll tell i'll tell pat to say hi to you how about that yeah <laughs> i appreciate that for his birthday he's coming that over. way you'll, or you can ask oh, yeah. him and uh, you can uh, verify if i got a hold of him or not I will, I will double check you. Or I'll just say, I'm, Pat, I'm calling because I can't get a hold of Bob. So, uh, you know, tell Roberto that uh, Steve says hi. Go visit him once in a while. Yeah. I miss him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pat hi, Helen. buddy. Pat, Pat Helen was a blonde, I think. Yes, yeah, he gray. was. No, he's a gray. Yeah. Wow. All right. It happens well, to all of us. Tell, if he remembers me, tell him hello, Steve. I will do that. I will say that I that I saw you and heard you tonight, and uh, <laughs> and that was good. So you take I care, Fred. You, did, didn't you all go down to Mexico or something together? We've years been ago? a number of places together. We've been. Uh, uh, they came out here for our wedding in 2015, and we wow. went up into Colorado. We went to uh, um, Yosemite uh, just for like a long weekend several times. Uh, all right. But uh, uh, Robert uh, didn't go, and but Bruce Walker and Mike Agnew and I went down to Mexico about four years ago. Mm-hmm. That's right. And Bruce is okay. Yep. Okay. Great. Well, well, maybe you'll decide to take a longer trip and come down and <laughs> you can do cool things. Yeah. Got to put it on our bucket list. You should. Yep. Just let me know ahead of time, and I'll set up a river trip, and we'll go down and shoot goats and deer and stuff. It'll, it'll require a lot of advance notice because, I mean, to make a trip like that is not just like, oh, hey, they got cheap flights. Let's hop on a plane tomorrow. <laughs> Won't quite be that way. But, yeah, I understand. We will let you know if we're coming down that way.
All right. And if you ever want to talk politics, there's plenty to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just thanks for holding back on that. <laughs> Yeah, we've avoided that with the session tonight as much as possible, which is good. As you would. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you would in the United States. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, Bye, Fred. See you, Fred. Cheerio. Cheerio. Well, so the people who voted for uh, the 27th, that was 13 of us. I didn't vote. (laughs) Yeah, I know. And, and, uh, but yeah, so I I didn't, I just picked that day because they were like, Nine for a couple of days, nine people for a couple of days this week and eight for another couple of days. And then yeah. nobody wanted to do uh, uh, Friday because it's New Year's Eve. Well, I think it was very pleasant because yeah. it's time, it's much easier to talk to a small group. Um, and everybody, but... and everybody who uh, who said, oh, they voted for tonight showed up. Um, yeah. Beth didn't vote for it, but she showed up. So it was good. Yeah, good. All right. Well, I'll let you go so you can kick back and all that stuff. So okay. thanks for doing this. You're welcome. And uh, um, yeah, keep keep your uh, your uh, creative your creative uh, design yeah. and and yeah. party funny stuff. Uh, your 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 skills honed because we'll be okay, doing. Okay, I will over. probably do it spread over the next three years as opposed to the last five months. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So don't spend a lot That's of money because I'll have to. I have, I have to close this account out after I've sent out all the, uh, uh, okay. the stuff that I owe the from this. Twenty-five dollars thing. Yeah. 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 All we'll right. Close the account. All right, buddy. We'll be uh, we'll be dormant for a while, but okay. Okay. Good, Good for you. Take care, Diane. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. I turned it off. My mouse to wake up. There it is. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>